of some kid losing their coat. At some point, someone actually lost a coat. And so that person took that coat. And then another kid picked up a coat that they thought was theirs. They're not stealing. I want to be clear. My son didn't steal a coat. He's grabbed a coat, but he's realized when Emma's seen it that it's not his coat, right? He's just grabbed a coat. And it's gone on and on and on. Yeah, it's just gone on and on and on until eventually some someone's gone, wait, where's the coat? How has FF13 been? Really good. Like, it's got some problems. It's not a perfect game by any means, but it's a very enjoyable, very fun game. Uh, one of the things I talked about in the TDP this morning is how this system is so miles inferior. I wonder if people found the FF10 sphere grid overwhelming. Because this is, like, very elaborate. Like, visually, the presentation of it is really over the top, right? Because you get swooshy cameras, and it goes multiple... Look at all the trees going off in multiple levels, and you can travel around them. Yeah, ultimately, right, what you do is you press A. And it does it for you. <laughs> and it's like, hey, here's a choice, players. You can either go left or right. But why wouldn't you pick up, like, the new attack? Right? Oh, and there's another one up here. Why wouldn't you boost your magic by four? It's absolute bollocks. It's the... It's like the Bioshock Infinite of choices. It's, uh... Oh, I will go left here. And now I'll press A again. Now I will go left here. And now... Why am I boosting his commando, though? I, I don't really ever want him to be commando. Um... Yeah, it's completely fabricated. Uh... It's, it's entirely fabric, but you just hold A for the most part. Look, it does it all for you. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> but it's so fancy looking. <laughs> it's so fancy looking. Uh, wow. It's like super fancy looking. Uh, but you just hold down one button. But it's so cool. and like it, um, So I'm guessing they thought FF10 was too complex for the sphere grid. But they wanted it to appear like a sphere grid. So that's, but that, how, I'm saying that as like, how, that's a minor annoyance, right? That's not a big deal. I don't really give a shit. Uh, it's, it's such a minor thing. The combat system really does well in hard situations. The combat system peaks when you can't just mindlessly set up for the kill. When it's a choice between like, we need, we can't just buff here because it's too dangerous. Uh, you've got to interweave all these different paradigms together. And there's a lot of fun like as the advancement of the FF12 system of setting up your paradigms. It's basic, right? It's basic setting up your paradigms, but it feels good to have the ones you like and how are you going to start? Like, oh, we're clearing trash. I'll go with slash and burn. I've got synergist saboteur for when things start getting tricky, but maybe I want commando saboteur so I can maintain the stagger bar while making sure that, uh, in fact, I do. Why is it not here? <laughs> I want Commando Saboteur because, like, Divide and Conquer is really important because uh, Vanille puts out, like, uh, Magic Taken debuffs and shit like that. So, it, there's all sorts of combos. Oh, we want Double Ravager so we can really punish with magic damage at certain points uh, and things like that. And then, of course, you get to build your characters around it. Like, so Vanille's a debuffer, so we focus her weaponry uh, into attaching debuffs. Uh, so, when it comes to her talents... I want to focus on uh, Saboteur, realistically. Now she's got the spell, which is fantastic. And, of course, we'll pick up more health and more strength. Like, it's one of those systems where, yeah, I know, there'll be speedrun tactics, but anybody who bases anything on a speedrun is a fucking clown anyway, so let's not go down that road. Um, but for a general playthrough, yeah, it works really well. I've got a very small dick, and I take it personally. Finally. Yeah, my other problems are the story wants to be bigger than it is. And they've kind of written themselves into holes a couple of times and have to use some very questionable methods to get out of those holes. Uh, the story, if they kept it pretty simple, which it starts pretty simple, the first big mistake with the story, the story, the first big mistake with the story is using the terminology they do. Lassie and falsy just leads to very dumb dialogue where you've got people saying the foul the pulse lassie ca called the fucking 
Sanctum Lassi, and now I became a Falsi, which will turn me into a Seath. But the Lassi, what, it's just, it's dumb, right? It just makes it more awkward to follow, especially as a kid. It's just very dumb terminology to use, because I don't know whether they suspected it gave a gravitas to the story in some way, but it just, instead of just calling them gods or primals or whatever, uh, and you're enthralled, which is way more understandable, uh, that would be fine. But they didn't do that. Uh, and they do keep occasionally writing themselves into holes. Uh, like the, right now the big hole in the story for me is why Vanille and Fang wake up, one has no memory, one does, and decide to blow up a power station for something to do. Because apparently they've been chosen to be Lassie again, uh, although we don't know why. And they think it's a really good idea to have no knowledge of why they're doing whatever they're doing. So maybe the best way to figure it out is to blow up a power station. Like, that's so dumb. And I think they've done that. They've done that to try and resolve that Vanille came out of a crystal and that crystals can wear off. Fang having no memory. So either they'll give her a memory back or she'll just be like generico character. And to tie in why Saz's son got uh, turned into a Lassie. But they could have done that in so many different ways that it's weird that they chose this incongruent story thread which doesn't fit the, the game. <clears throat> if they kept it basic, which they did, two societies ruled over by primals. These primals choose people... And if you do, it has good and bad results. Although, so far, both results are bad. So, whatever. Uh, and they, they believe the other enemy is monsters and really bad. If they kept that as just what was going on, they would have been fine. Uh, and then they could have put the plot twists in as they went. Uh, so, that would have been it. Uh, Lassi, Falsi, and all those other names are so dumb. Uh, Netherizim and Kyrian. It's because they all sound so similar. So you end up like, I, even I, who's not the best orator in the world, but re reasonably good at it, get confused. And I'm like, Falsi, Lassi, Seath. I'm a Lassi, but it's a Pulse Falsi, led by the Sanctum Falsi, that turns people into Lassis. And it's like, you've got to sort of like tongue twist your way through it right you've got a tongue twist your way through it and it's pretty weird yeah it's just a lot of terminology you don't use uh current character tier list saz is at number one yeah saz is at number one super relatable i get where he's coming from i like his attitude towards what's going on uh so saz would be at number one right now uh do we have a tier list this would make it easier to track i think because it's changed it has changed. Uh, has no one ever made one? Bullshit. I refuse to believe. Oh, this is the trilogy. I shouldn't look at this. Yeah, that's the trilogy. Uh, is that the trilogy as well? I've got a very small dick. I take it personally. As per established Preach Gaming Law, you now have okay. to hate your son for all eternity for lying. Uh, this is also, the best one I can see. There's a couple of characters here I don't know, years. but um, no. oh, I've got a very small dick. I'll take matter. it personally. Well, you'll see. I think it's a fallacy. Uh, I don't think he's S tier. Saz is winning. He's A tier. Uh, Fang, I actually quite like, but she's got nothing to her yet. So... Yeah, Fang I quite like as an actual, her attitude and personality. Uh, but I, she hasn't got a backstory or anything. She's just a kind of soldier. So probably C tier. Uh, Sarah. We don't know anything about Sarah. She's the sister of someone. So she, we don't know anything about Sarah. Uh, so Sarah can go there. Uh, Snow. He's B, like, although he's ridiculous and stupid, I love every time he's on sc on screen. I do. I do. Like, it's, it just makes me so happy. <laughs> but I, I, I have to objectively realize that he's an awful character, but I really like him. So, 
for the objective idea that he's just so stupid and dumb. He loses points, but I love him. He should, I think, in most people's tier lists. And probably if I was 10 years younger, he would be D tier. But because everything he does is just amazing and he's the king and he has a titwank motorbike, uh, it makes me really happy. So, like, I, 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 I'm just excited whenever he's on screen. Uh, but I don't particularly enjoy playing him as part of the party anymore because he's, like, not as good as Lightning or Fang. Uh, and it's sensible I'm not into. Uh, Sid... Shrewd. Don't really care. Sid is in the game, but he's just sort of a plot device. Hope. Uh, Hope is E. So he's not Shrewd. I actually have feelings for Hope, but he's E. Um, I just don't like anything about Hope at all so far. Yeah, he's E. He's actually E. I just don't like anything about him. Like, I, I understand. I'm not an idiot that, you know, he, he lost his mother and that's devastating. But there were things happening before he lost his mother that still make him a cunt. And the way he treated his dad, who's like the dad of all video games. He's the best dad in video games in years. And that's long before his mother died. That's nothing to do with it. Like, you can see in the pictures he's a cunt. Uh, so fuck him. Uh, Lightning. Uh, Lightning is also ahead of Snow. I, I actually really like Lightning. Uh, a lot of people were memeing on Lightning, but I, I think she's cool. Uh, they're, they're B. She has problems and her story is really weird. Like, that story where... She, like, gave up when they were about to kill Carbuncle. And she, like, gave up. But then we just carried on killing people. But, I mean, she's okay. <clears throat> she's okay. Uh, I had a dislike for her earlier in the game because her cutscenes are so preposterous. Uh, and they were desperately like, you will like this character. But, actually, everything else she's doing is fine. And she's really fun to play as well. Vanilla. Vanilla. She was A tier. She was A tier. But that girl has so many fucking skeletons in a closet. It's like a haunted house in there. Uh. But she's got back... It's that aspect. I understand people who don't like confrontation, but she tells lies that make no sense. Like, she keeps it a secret from Fang that she has a memory. Why? It makes no sense. Like, you would... You, uh, yeah, so I think... But I do like her personality. I, uh, I, I kind of... I get... I understand this kind of person that is constantly trying to project positivity, even in the face of abject disaster. Almost to a toxic level. Where she's like... Internally, she's under so much pressure. But she's still trying to hide it to not cause a problem. She hates confrontation. But she still makes the dumbest fucking choices. Oof. It's either high C. I don't mind the voice. The voice isn't causing me any issues. Uh, honestly, from all the negatives I've heard, it's mostly been the girls who don't like her voice. <laughs> like, obviously, the moaning and groaning. Uh, the moaning and groaning I could do without because it, they're, they're just sex noises to me. <laughs> I could do without that. But her actual talking doesn't bother me. Uh, I like the Australian accent as well. Uh, so it's... Uh, I know Bex is very... Hates her voice so much. Yeah, and she has fallen into the trap of being, like, actually hundreds of years old. But, like, not in a way. Uh, so I think we're there right now. I think that's where we stand. Yeah. I'm not rating these two because... I mean, how can I? <clears throat> Yeah, it's a non-factor. Like, it doesn't bother me. Yeah, I think this I think this is where we're at. I honestly, if I was to have... If, if Prediction-wise, of coming into this game, I was expecting Lightning to be the worst person imaginable. But I... Beyond her opening cutscenes, which are a bit like Thancred's, are just preposterous and stupid. Uh, what's going on with her is okay. Like, I haven't got an issue with her. Uh, so, that's where we're at. Nailed it. All right. Oh, Nups is back. 
Uh, thank, like these thank red with tits. Yeah, that's the vibe I get from her. It's thank red with tits, essentially. Uh, uh, that is absolutely the vibe. Yes, we are staring in the face of flanitors. The flanitors are here. I'm really sorry, but I do need a piss. We've been streaming for like an hour and a half. <laughs> Let me have a piece so we get started. Sorry, guys. <sighs>
My voice is trashed. All right, Flanitas. Daddy's ready. Daddy's ready. <sighs> Let's go. Please do the sound effects. They haven't got sirens on their heads. I don't think we're going to get a sound effect. Oh, one of them has. Come on. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Get it, son! I know I should kill the planet at first, but I don't care. Yeah, save his life! Oh, he couldn't save him. He couldn't save him. Oh my god. I need a hard hat for PreachCon. Oh my god. If, uh, we are having a cosplay competition this year at PreachCon. A fun one. If someone wants to rock up as a flatter, you insta win. Just saying. Oh, we got five stars? Oh, no shit. Oh, wait, did we get five? Resistance is feud. Can you imagine if the Borg... Oh my god. Can you imagine if the Borg turned up wearing little fucking siren helmets? Woo! We adapted this technology from Species 001. Woo! Ah! He saw me! Ah! No, Flutter! Stop, Flutter, you maniac! He's a, he's a madman, this Flutter! He's an absolute, can you imagine Snow versus Flutter? Oh my god. That would be hell on Earth. <clears throat> I think I'm going to need a cup of tea today. Oh, there's no... Oh, maybe? Oh, I think we got it. Uh, what do you think about so far? I've talked about it a few times, but I'm having a really good time with it. Really good time with it. I'm, uh... I'm enjoying the hell out of it. I am certainly not seeing the hatred this game has. Like, 2, I fully understood, and 15, I fully understood why people dislike that, but I am not seeing it with this one. Maybe it landed at the wrong time. Maybe expectations are very high. I'd have to look at the marketing for it. Maybe it was a marketing problem. Could be. Yeah, I don't know. I One thing I don't know is what the end game looks like. I've got a very small dick, and I take it first. Oh, I totally didn't take advantage of that. That's okay. Yeah, I don't know what the end game looks like. The weapon upgrade system is still a bit of a mystery to me, if I'm being honest. Like, the weapon upgrade system is, uh... Is one that I'm still, like... I, I don't really get it. I mean, I get it, but the, the mechanics of it are a bit odd. So, we'll see. We'll see when we get there. I, I kind of suspect I might have to wiki how the crafting system small works. Dick, I take it personally. Because I'm just throwing Hide your bank stuff at it. Hide your wallets. A wild gape on the loose with Steam sales. Is it the Steam sale? Shit, worthy of a quick check. What do we got? Oh! Okay. Diablo 4? <laughs> Uh, only 25% off lives of P. I haven't picked that up yet. I, although, I think I have a game code for it. I have to check my nups. I think they sent me that game. And I haven't installed it yet. Uh, Hogwarts Legacy. No. Ooh, Grounded I do want to play. I think Raft is something we wanted to play as well. Uh, maybe with Jordan. I'd have to look at Jordan for that. Sea of Thieves, unfortunately, something. Yeah, Grounded looks cool. I want to play something with Jordan. I miss Jordan. I miss her laugh. No Same with Zeppler. I, I want to do a playthrough with Jordan, Zeppler, and Daisy. Like, them together is just such a fiesta. I re I miss it. That like Even though we only got to do it for a couple of hours, that Lethal Company gameplay we did with me, Alex, uh, Jordan, and Daisy was so fun. Uh, so, like, something like that I want to do in the future. Sorry, is that again, Chris? Oh, this is like Tron Trigger. Only 22% off so far. I mean, we know we get... Did we get Flash Sale still? I'm not sure. God of War, we've still not played. Monster Hunter, I've never heard of it. 
Do we have flash sales? No, not for years. So is this likely to be the deepest discount? Don't start together. Me and Jordan, don't start together. That could be fun. Uh, 80% off Metro Exodus. Man. Yeah, Dead Cells is awesome. I've played Dead Cells on my Switch. Death Stranding as well. We kind of said we've got to play. There's a few here, despite the fact that we've got an endless list. Ooh, Frostpunk is five quid. <sighs> oh, it's DLC. Okay, it's just the DLC. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's a lot here. There's a lot. FF7. It's got 50% off FF7. Sekiro is 50%. Great deals. Halo. Oh, Chris is creaming his pants. <sighs> I've got apparently got to play Halo. Hollow Knight I've played the crap out of. Slay the Spire I've played the crap out of. Just not on PC. Hmm. I've never played Halo, no. Because I, uh, I was not an Xbox boy. Uh, it, Chris is determined that I play... Oh, you see, I'd love to play Renegade again, but it's it's not a good game. <laughs> oh, General Zero Hour. Oh, I love Generals. What if I got that on? Because I own all these. Oh, I've got them on the EA app. Yeah, 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 yeah. Renegade had the setting, but I didn't think it was a great game. What the fuck is Dune Imperium? Is that a card game? Pass. Uh, a difficult game about climbing. Ugh. Gross. A hundred March cats. No. Pass. Uh, yeah, I might pick some of these up later on. I need to throw Jordan uh, something. I haven't supposed to Daisy in a while either. Uh... What would you think would be better? A duo with me and Jordan, or me and Zeppler, or... God, even Alex would be fun, but he doesn't like streaming anymore. Of Don't Starve Together. Or, like, a, a four-way combo. What was the other one? Was it Raft that you can do multiple players on? I suggested to Jordan, because she wants to do a horror game, is that we could do uh, Tale, Outlast Tales together. Valheim with four of us. It's a bit long, isn't it? When I'm looking for, when I'm looking for collab games, I'm looking for maybe two, three days max. Uh, other than that, it gets very difficult to coordinate schedules. Uh, when Jordan starts streaming later, if I'm not on, if someone wants to... Uh, if someone's in her stream, uh, I'll talk to her myself, obviously, but uh, see if she can, she can have a browse and get some thoughts. I've played Terraria. I like. I, I am obviously a... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, we're gonna buff up before we go ham here. Guess which of these enemies is the last to die? <laughs> go, girl. I'm, I'm gonna chill and get buffs up. Oh, Vanille's getting hammered. Heal, 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 heal. Let's get some heals out. Yeah! Woo! I imagine Calamity is 300 hours. <laughs> it's so dumb. Oh, we killed one already. I wasn't even paying attention to that. Woo! He's trying his best, this lad. It's so good. He's so good. Woo! Hopefully we get multiple of them together. I'm sorry, Flanator, but our time has come to an end. I'm sorry, buddy. All the FFs play very differently, uh, Shotgarath. So uh, every single one is a different style of game. So I would say no. Uh, what would, what would we just pick up? The Royal Armlet. What does that do? 
Oh, you're still wearing level one stuff. Sorry, pal. Uh, resist damage plus five percent. It does both physical and magic resist. Mm. I've got a very small dick. I take it personally. Mm. Commission a 3D Flanata statue with a light-up helmet on top that you can press to make it go woo. You can press to make it go woo. <laughs> it goes woo. <laughs> it's good. It goes woo. <clears throat> I think I'm pretty close to cracking the crafting system. Um, but... I think just to not avoid wasting money, there's more we can do. You know what the problem is? We're not getting the dual flanner to dream. And I want the dual flanner to dream. We're getting individual flanners. We want double flanners. Just spam healing each other. No, we had two Flamborgs and one Flanator, not dual Flanators. Dual Flanators is different. I'm pretty sure we had two Flamborgs. This fight? Oh, I was looking at chat. <laughs> we had a preemptive and I was looking at chat, so I knew we were going to blast. Ironically, these have become two of the favorite characters to have. I think I would have these two and probably Lightning as my uh, top team. But I feel like Hope is going to be a part of it somewhere. Because he does all the defensive spells. We'll see. Gonna keep us out. <laughs> okay, what's next? Give me four Flanators together. Give me four. Code purple? Code purple? Looks like we ain't the only ones cleaning house. Could be Lucy. Could be Fang. Come on, let's hurry. For those who don't know, are we placing bets on Vanille and Flang's relationship? I think they're just people who met coming out the crystal. I don't think they're lovers. I don't think there's any of that. Alright, now you're talking. Let's go. I don't think they're roommates. I think they just met when they got out of the crystal. Code purple. I repeat, code purple. Security breach. All units on alert. Code purple. All these colors. What's it mean? Code rainbow. Shit hits the fan. Making a lot of Psycom guys nervous. Who are they fighting? Anil. We'll find out. We'll find out. Okay, yeah, we've got the same team. Good. Ooh, big Bobots. Can I sneak up on big Bobots? I can. Three big Bobots at once. Uh, we should do a Quake. <clears throat> I've got a very small thing. I'll take it personally. Watch out. Hope we'll line up and play until the enemy casts Doom on itself. Rack him! Okay, this is taking like no damage. What the fuck? Okay, these have a lot of health. I think we've already Libra'd these. Yeah, we have. Let's get heals. We're going to need to get some buffs out. These are going to do a ton of damage. Uh, getting Slogar out is probably a move as well. Let's go uh, Decim... No, Bully for a second. Let's get Slow out on them. Start getting some buffs going. Oh, Hope's nearly dead. Uh, not Delta Attack. That's the wrong one. Uh, okay, we actually got a fight here. Hold. Don't die, Hope. Did she even get a slow out? I don't think she did. Uh oh. Let's use decimation for a sec so he can still get his buffs out while we're doing damage. Oh, this is... Yeah, this is a bit of a mighty one. 
Okay, protects out. Got the stagger. Fang is very low, though. Okay, all the protects are out. Do we need more than protect? Probably not. Let's do a quick heal. I don't think these are doing magic damage. Does it tell us here? Uh, oh, it does. Yeah, fire-based attacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, we do want shell out. Let me go to Bully for a sec. Happy Friday! I can't believe you've been in Manchester so long. I haven't seen you. I don't know if we smell or what, Pixie, but uh, I'll allow it. Okay, let's go Relentless Attack. Got plenty of buffs out now. Everyone's got shell and desperation. You haven't invited me. Invite yourself. What the fuck? Well, not now, though, because I'm going to be in America for two days. You fucked it up. I don't know what your schedule is. You know where the fuck I am. If only there was a way of finding out, eh, Pixie? What a mystery. <laughs> not that we could do much. You could come and work here for a day and do your job. And chill out and hang out. We'll go for some dinner or something. Yeah, talk to Chris. Chris could hook you up. Are we in Relentless Assault? We are. Okay. I wonder where I am right now. It's a mystery. If you haven't got Chris on Discord, he's definitely the PG Discord. Easy to find. He might be a ninja, but he doth be chunky. He's easy to find. We can find the Chris. Yeah, we can do a little talk about game development or something if you want, Pixie. I think people would be interested in that for a little chit-chat. I don't even know if you're allowed to talk about some of the games you've worked on. Do you get NDA'd? I don't know how that works, actually. If you work on a game, are you allowed to talk about it? Like, uh... I bet you have to be careful, right? Not to piss off any studio. Like, yeah, I worked on this game and it fucking sucked. <laughs> I bet that's not quite allowed, is it? <laughs> yeah, I worked on this game and it fucking sucked. And I knew it was going to fucking suck at the start. And I still had to make it. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I understand. I understand. Mm, Quake isn't going to... Oh, this is, a, this is tough. Double Commando is probably good here for Blitz. Have we got Double Commando? No. No, we don't. Yeah, sorry, Albert Chris. He knows my schedule. Honestly, the team knows my... Uh... Oh, we're going to die. Holy shit. We're about to wipe. What the fuck are these things? <whistles> Spicy. Uh, I don't think we can even quake them because they're. Um... Let's try because we've got a preemptive. Oh, Lily Alley! Thank you very much. Oh shit! Did I miss my quake window? Maybe. Okay, the trick is just to blast them before they can hurt you. Alright, I found the technique, guys. You nuke the fuck out of them before they kill you. They are susceptible to Quake as well, which is great. Yeah, the trick is just to go, like, extreme balls to the wall damage, and you're fine. And we win! <laughs> what a counter! We're so smart. Pain dampener. Well, that sounds good. Uh, we've got to get to the middle. There's a lot of loot floating around in the middle over there. Hmm. 
And a lot of Bobots. Uh... Hmm. We should get loot. Hang on, we got a kinky lady. Miniskirt soldier. Looking like Star Trek, the original series. Is it just her? Oh, this is, oh, there's two of them. Okay. I thought we were full bullying. Uh, advanced shifting. I don't know what you mean by that. If you mean like setting them off early, yeah, we do know that. Oh, who's got the spell now? Is it Saz? Somebody has the spell. Uh, I can't remember who. I don't think it's one of these, is it? Might be. Let me find out. If we go fully. Is she gonna cast. She does! Okay, Fang has the spell. It only does one at a time. Interesting. Okay, so it's not just gonna clean them off. Mm, okay. Noted. Noted for future fights. Don't just turn around immediately. Keep your mind on the battle. Stagger and kill. Go, 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 go. Get juggled, pussy. Oh, we need to scan this as well. Not gonna kill it. Is it gonna one shot us now? We've had bad history with these things. Oh, we kept it juggled for so long. What the fuck? It's still in the air. What? What is happening? It's not even staggered. He's just living up there. Oh, there's pure Thermodon. Oh, now he's down. Okay. <laughs> Wait, we kept him in the air so long we re-staggered him? What? Didn't even break a sweat. Okay. Sure. <clears throat> that looks like some sort of speedrun tech. Uh wasn't there loot over here somewhere? I'm sure I saw some loot. Is it all in the middle? I'm taking crazy pills here. I saw a bouncy loot. There's bouncy loot. I would love to sneak up on these. These are horrible. Okay. You want some quality of life? Like what? I have interest. What do you consider non-quality of life? I would skip the loot windows if I could, but they're no different than any FF's uh, post-fight screens, really. I'm surprised how many people dislike Vanille's voice actor. She's done nothing offensive, as far as I can tell, besides the moaning, but that's in every game. Is there more loot? I don't think so. I think we've collected the loot. This is one huge XP farm, by the way. Uh, I'm, I'm debating because we obviously got we are falling a little behind on being able to cap out the trees, so a bit more XP wouldn't go amiss. And these bigger enemies give loads of Crystarium points. You know, like these uh, the Scale Commander things. 
And if we fight like that, they take a couple of seconds. Now, these robots give loads. If you can get a preemptive... These things just take an absurd amount of damage to kill, though. So is the trick you hold with your commando until near the end of stagger, and then you launch the attack, and that juggles them indefinitely, almost? All right, we'll take one more hit before we start healing. Let's get as much damage out as we can. Ooh, it's close. Come on, Hope. Come on, Hope. I'm a believer. You can do it. Come on, Hope. You can do it. You couldn't do it, Hope. Uh, I'll res you in a second. Let's let Hope catch up on both of us. If he can. Alright, he is doing. Oh, shit! Come on, Hope! Oh, Hope's dead. That's bad. I think we're dead. I left it such too late. I don't have any potions left. Yeah. <laughs> Sentinel is boo! Boo Sentinel! Yeah, we, we got the, the, the chain stagger, but we should have gone into protect and things like that. What's the one called that does... Uh... Bully was probably the start we should have done here. The preemptive is fine, but... Oh. <clears throat> Try aerosol. What does that do? Uh... That's not bad. What's fortisol? <clears throat> oh, wow. That gives us loads of buffs. That's sick. Ethersol is restores the party's tech points. Okay. Uh, okay, I'll save them for now. I don't think it's needed for this fight. I just went into it a bit of a... A ballsy boy. I'll get an early stagger out, but I'm still going to let them buff and debuff. Okay, Sloga landed on everything, which is great. So let's go Decimation here. Still let him get his buffs out. This is where I love the combat, managing this. Okay, we got Protects out, but we need more than that, because he's got to do that fire attack. But these two do damage. Two shells. Uh, we probably want... Do we want depression? What does depression do again? Interrupts them, right? Or prevents interruption? Is that what depression does? Yeah, I'm not too asked about that. Oh, debuff resistance. Yeah, these don't really debuff. Okay, so let's get the heals out. Everyone's got depression anyway, which is fine. Right, let's go DPS now. Yeah, we've scammed it. <clears throat> Veil! Yeah, that's what it is. Veil. Yeah, true. Okay, on the last one, we're going to do some science. When it's in stagger, I'm going to hold the final attack till the stagger bar is nearly empty. To 
see if we get the rejuggle. Yeah, I think that's vigilance, the sad depression face. Let's see how many Crystarian points we get for this as well. I thought these fights would last a shorter period of time, but not really. <laughs> Not really. These are long, long ass fucking fights. <laughs> Another day without snow. Snow just doesn't really fit into my plans right now. Okay, our buffs are starting to wear off. We'll take advantage of the stagger bar and then we'll have him. Do we need him to rebuff with one enemy? Maybe. Maybe. Fire protection's wore off. I've got a very small dick. I take it personal. Every day we stray further from snow. <laughs> from snow's teachings. Okay, I'm going to try and see if we can get infinite juggle intentionally. I love that they still have slow on them, though. That's been up for ages. Okay, depression is wearing off. Dagger. All right, let's see if we can time this right. I'm not asked about killing it in this window. I want to just see if we can time this. As far as I know, they won't attack until I tell until I issue my orders. Right, we could squeeze another full assault into here. Might die before we get to pull this off. It's staying up there. I think we just carry on. I think once we've got it in the air and it's staying in the air, you just stay there, but it's going to die anyway. Right, how many Crystallion points do we get for doing them? A thousand. Whereas these things, we can kill in like two hits. Alright, how many do these get for like a two second fight? I got weird loot. No, don't attack that one. Oh, it's the preemptive. I get wrecked by the flying ones. In fact, we're not even remotely going to kill this. Oh, we might do. Shit, this was not the plan. Uh, uh oh. Well, we have to kill this one now. Uh. We, we don't do this. We go, um... Yeah, we, we stay here. We need more health. We need buffs, though. You asked for it. We're gonna die. No way Hulk keeps us alive through this. Maybe. <clears throat> Maybe. Fuck tanking. Okay, Hulk kept us alive. Legend. You're a good lad, Hope. Hope kept us alive. I've got to respect it.
Kill it! Hold the line! Hold the line! Hold the line! We're fine. That's how it's done. Uh, I mean, it's not, but we'll take it. <laughs> that is absolutely not how that is done, but sure. Mm, yeah, there's no other quick battles here, is there? I think we got all the loot out of this room of relevance besides farming. Is that on its own? Oh, no, we didn't. There's loot over there. You guys are really separated. Are you going to pull all together? Or is it just you? Can we kill it before the rest of the guys kick off? I don't think the soldiers do anywhere near as much damage as them little uh, whizzy boys that we were fighting earlier. I think we're okay to blast here. Hope's still fucking taking it. That kid is taking it like the chocolate bars in a fat kid's house. He is Bruce Bogtrotter. Keep the enemy off balance. He wants it and he's fucking taking it. One more heal, Hope. Shift it. Hope is more dislikely than Vaughn because Vaughn had nothing going from at all. <laughs> like, Vaughn should be the worst character, but he doesn't do anything. So it's like, he's less hated because he didn't do anything. Yeah, at least Hope is doing something. Perfect. Pinello is not the worst. Hell no. Hell no. How can he say that with people like Edward around? Where all the fucking... All the maids of the castle don't like him because he keeps trying to fuck them all the time. How can he say that when you've got a philanderer? Edgar, yeah, you know what I mean. Edward, Edgar. Edward was the spoony bard, wasn't he? White cape. These are just ingredients I'm picking up here, right? I think so. No, is it actual accessories? Uh, resist fog. Increase fog resistance? The fuck is fog? Increase pain resistance. Resist pain. We'll have to see that when it pops up, I guess. Uh, there's no loot that way. Okay. Yeah, I think we got everything besides some points. So we got points to spend. 12,000. Nice. Yeah, a huge amount of experience in here. Uh, let's, for now, boost her Ravager to max. Yeah, we are at the point where 12,000 doesn't really I've get us very much. small dick. I take it personally. There are no difference between Penelo and Pillars in the game. Actually, I take that back. Pillars at least have a purpose. That's cold. We're missing a strength and a 
an HP buff in this tree somewhere. Where is it? There it is. Ah, uh, let's then let's do a bit of medic boosting for her. You've got 12,000 as well. Uh, Synergist first. That was interesting spells, isn't it? More health! Hey, look at that, buddy. I don't know if levels actually do anything. Right, we have everything there. Let's go with Medic next. The sooner. Always welcome. You never know when you need it, but when you need it, you'd rather have it. And how are you looking? Let's give you some more commando. I'm kind of tempted to kill some of these. We don't grind. Let's move on. There's just some really cool spells that are locked behind uh, Crystarian points, and this room gives tons of them. Oh no! Cold blue! If we were orange, that would mean the escape It can't be orange, that would be insane. <clears throat> no. Damn the sea. Intruders located. They're on the weather deck, starboard side. Uh, make it rain. Her breasts look like two water balloons that are squished together. That's gotta be uncomfortable. Code white. Oh. My. God. And what's the same color as white? Cold snow. Uh, you picked up all the XP that I just got from that room, right? <laughs> uh, let's go into Synergist more. What, you got anything cool? Uh, HP. HP and magic, sure. Hmm, not really. Okay. Uh... I want more Saboteur stuff from her. More spells and abilities, please. Oh, have we got everything? We do. Uh, should probably boost your medic a little bit. Not really use her as a medic, but some nice easy points to pick up. Uh, we've got left go- Yes! Woo! Oh, what am I doing? We should be buffing. Me. 
<laughs> I don't think they're transformed humans. They're just awesome. That's what they are. God, we need some stronger heals. I think we need some equipment to buffer healing. I'm not sure what these guys' equipment looks like. Oh. Woo-woo gone. It's over for woo-woo. Yeah, woo woo god, Saj. We should, um. We should start in, uh, Tide Turner. We do want the haste and stuff. Woo! <laughs> I just don't want these fights to end so quickly. Oh, there's more. Oh. I've got a very small dick, let's take it personally. Surely, they are Braggart's children. Wait, who spied me? Oh, these don't appear to have a protective flanator at their disposal. Man. These these poor flanborgs are flanaterless and poor. Oh, Lord, are you coming? Gotta give you the woo woo. Woo 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 woo. Interesting day in the phone in the the audio booth with her. <laughs> it was an interesting day. <laughs> okay, so what I need from you is, can you make it sound like you're really trying to take a shit, but you're like kind of constipated? Just, just try and picture that if you take a shit right now, you would be so happy. Like, it's happened, and it's good. I'm not afraid of you. Like, if you can get that sound effect. Uh, that's front-facing, isn't it? Okay. Ooh. I think I, uh... Got a bit ahead of myself there. What are they protecting in the dead middle here? Is it just a hard fight? Let's see a loot Girls don't poop. Christ. That's got to be uncomfortable. Uh, we definitely want Faith out. I'm not too bothered about Braver. Uh, faith and Vigilance. Oh, oh, oh. It's getting spicy. Getting spicy. We're getting hard CC'd. We're dead. Jesus Christ. If you let these things live for a fucking second, they mess you up. No, no, don't do that. We dead? Maybe. Didn't even have to ask. Oh, she's saving it. She's saving it. Hold. Not bad, Vanille. Nope, oh, dead sh That, uh, triple lineup of Cyclone is... Not nice. That triple Cyclone back-to-back -back is really not nice. 
And then we get minimal buffs up, and then we go straight into dam. Oh, did we get the, the preemptive? Okay, we quake and kill the... Uh, Kill, kill the, the, the wizards. Yeah, kill the wizards. Kill it. Did you see that coming? Kill the wizards, kill them fast. Kill the other wizard. And the last one. Still in stagger. We can kill it. We can kill it. I haven't used summons much. I don't know why. They're very cinematic. But uh, let's do a little bit of damage here. Got a couple of buffs up for this. Uh, faith. And, uh, and water, I think, for this one. Quick heal. Thanks, Vanille. Yeah, full debuffs are on. All right, go, go ham. Everyone's got every buff. It's fully debuffed. Go, 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 go. No poison, but not the worst. Yeah, it's big to water. They're extraordinarily strong. You're not wrong. Uh, we're about to die. Heal. A photon burst is not nice. Let's do two heals. As soon as we get this thing into stagger, it's so fucked. Oh no! No, 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 no. I'm not tied, sir. Uh, Divided conquer. I want D shell on it. Nice. Can you get what's it called? An impulse or whatever? Oh, it's gonna stagger! And bye bye HP bar. I'm not sure how much damage poison does. She's just taking a shit. She's doing her best. Okay. Uh, are we missing anything? That was where we came in. Going over there. Are the Woo Woo's protecting anything? It does not appear the Woo Woo's are protecting. I don't want to kill the Flans. Like, to know they live on. That the Woo Woo's are doing their jobs. I'm okay with it. Paste is up. Uh, so we just need uh, faith up. I would like the ability to send... Um, no, not in fire. I clicked. Didn't like to choose faith. I'm sure I did, yeah. Try for poison. It landed. Blast. I kind of want FF12 style where I can predetermine the actual uh, spells I want on who. Thanks, Vanille. Any Noahs? Am I doing any component of physical damage? I know it's guns, but like we mostly do. Uh, the old man's lead. It feels like we're doing like ruin now. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if there's any component of what we do that is physical. Like, Braver would be worthwhile. 
So we're double dipping right into Braither and Faith. Oh, get the stagger before d Shell wears off. Come on. Go, go, blast, blast, blast. Okay, we lost in peril. It feels like it's not enough damage like, compared to attack. Am I wrong? I know we've scanned, so the game is calculating what will do the most damage. For note, debuffs do not last long enough. Uh, there's an item that we can get the debuffs to last longer, though. We might need to equip her with that. I think if we give her a, a bangle or something, a de oh, it might have been a weapon. Uh, we've got a weapon that makes debuffs land more successfully. It might have been a buff. There's something that allows these debuffs and stuff to last longer. Oh, here comes the snowstorm. Oh, shit. No, it's not. Okay. Oh, is it only two of them? Oh, it's fine. Oh, shit! How do they do so much damage? That cyclone is ridiculous. You can do it! Didn't even have to ask. Watch and learn, kid. They're, they're just insane, these cyclones. Alright, let's finish this one off. Oh, kill it before it does it. Kill, kill. Fuck's sake. If she gets photon burst, we're in trouble. Uh, and my goal is to get haste on each of them first, so they're both hasty, because that increases the rate at which she's putting up her debuffs. And then boost her magic damage with Faith and his magic damage uh, for the, you know, the actual DPS portion of it. But I kind of want to get haste up early for those reasons. Does that make sense? Because she's got, she's got tons of debuffs to put out. In fact, it's, uh, they're already falling off. What does she do when these are all up? She's gonna try and put poison on. So she just stacks the. She didn't land. But she won't recast spells that are already on, will she? Yeah, that's what I mean. I like the FF12 style of coding. It's like, I want you to do things in this order. You know, if they had, uh, like, here's your paradigm, but then you could drop to a sub menu where you can kind of choose the order of events. I would really like that. One spell away. Do it before it does this. Go, 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 go. Nice. That stops the form burst. We still have Imperil up. This should wreck. 1500, 1600, 1600. She's got faith up still. We're not seeing the 3Ks we saw earlier. 2K. Oh, D shell wore off. F. I mean, we will kill it in stagger, but still. Significant damage loss without D shell. 2.6k. Kill it. Fuck. Mm, four stars. I'm not surprised. The team's got to meet up any second, right? And the Fang Wait, Vanille revelation now. will happen. Yeah, it's stopping. And we're decelerating. They up to something? 
I don't suppose it could just be, I don't know, good luck? That looks a lot more like bad luck. You got a point. Not to me. That, that we can do something about. This feels like a boss arena. Hey, right, Ravager, Ravager Commando? The fuck? No. Uh... Yeah, they've only got 2,000 points. Snow Whop with a whopping 3k. Hey, feet stop working. Oh, look at that loot in that corner. You know it's good. It's not going to be an ether. They don't have them in this game. You know it's not going to be an ether. It's all crafting mats. We can get the preemptive here. I'm going to assume we do get the preemptive. If we don't, I can swap it and do the long farm fight. Bastard! Ah, calm down, calm down, calm down. I would really like the preemptive without using a Decepticon juice. Got it. Kill, kill, kill. All right, we're going for the infinite juggle. Have we accidentally stumbled onto it? Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Ooh, nope, not quite. Okay. I should have pressed Y there to see if we could have got it. I think I had to finish the uh, chain of a the attack chain earlier. Oh no, not solidarity. Oof, gross. Yeah, we're not doing solidarity. Just give me a couple of heals and we'll kill. Okay, go. I know it's possible, but how you scam into it, I don't know. I think you like you go you do that like when it's in the air. There's a way of desyncing their attacks, right? And if you could desync it, I think if you desync it at the right time, it happens. Yeah, you can just like hold or send it at the right time. And it was for a scarf. The scarf of destruction, definitely. ATB advantage. Charges a single ATB gauge segment prior to battle. That's pretty fucking good, actually. I wonder what happens if you upgrade this. Would this upgrade to, like, two ATB gauges? Three, four? Hmm. I have to imagine that's the upgrade path of that item, right? I think we got the preemptive there. Nothing Didn't see any red lines. Nice. Yeah. 
Honestly, these enemies, I'll fight all day like this. These are just free money, man. Free money. No problem. Yeah, I think that would be great on Saz. Like, so he can get hastes out immediately on everybody. That would be kind of dope, actually. Do I have the tech bar to keep up with this? Oh, there's two of them. I'm just going to fight them. Yeah, no need to quake. Yeah, we looked at it this morning, Amanda. Excited for it. It looks like we have to go to Australia first, so I think on the day. It's on a Sunday, which is a bit of a bummer, but uh, at least for me. But I think on uh, that Sunday, we, we pay a visit to our oceanic brothers. Give them a bit of crawler love. We are not getting the preemptive here. No, we are not. Okay. I didn't do it right, did I? Because I'm an idiot. Okay. Yeah, but you want to do it on day one, right? Did we get the preemptive? I don't know how. We shouldn't have, but we did. Kill the Dragoons first. I don't know. I don't know why that works, but I'll take it. There ain't no way we're killing this and this stagger bar, though, is there? Ain't no way. Hmm. No. It doesn't, it's only 160% stagger, though. Can we do it before it hurts us? Oh, to the point of healing. One more wave of attacks and it'll go into stagger, I think. Oh, fuck. oh, that was... Yes, we got it. Okay. We're fine. We don't need to heal. Perfect. Yeah, launch is broken, man. It just shuts them down completely. We're going to fight some boss that can't be yoinked into the air, though. Gotta greet it. Gotta greet it. Perfect. All right, what loot were you guarding? Uh, there's a lot of enemies on the other side of this platform. The perfect conductor. Okay, I assume that's a shed load of experience. Uh, we don't need to fight those. Oh, maybe we do. Oh, my. Hmm. It would appear that we do have to fight these. Right, so, ah! I mean, we can run past them, I guess, but it's less fun. What are you staring at? Don't stare at my ass. My eyes are up here, buddy. This guy is full fucking lightning ass stash. Lightning doesn't even have an ass. What are you staring at? Arseless and poor. He's still staring. Creep. A kid makes me uncomfortable. I know you turn around. Come on. All right, come on. What? All right, fine. Fine. Be that way. Are we starting a tide turner? Yeah, bully. Bully's fine. Sloga. Protect. Oh, 
Okay, she's got slow and everything. Let's go to uh, decimation for a hot second. Just let him keep buffing. We're definitely going to need healing here, though. Go diversity for a sec. One down. One more heal from Hope. I think we can go into DPS mode here. Thanks. Perfect. Go DPS now. These dragoons seem really hard to get slow on, but she's not wearing a weapon for debuff landing either. I'm trying not to spend too much money, because money's kind of a pain in the ass in this. <laughs> At least for now. There's probably a way... I've, I, I, it might be like other games where I have an inventory that's probably worth like 200,000 gil or something, but I just don't have any money. I'm just so broke and poor all the fucking time, man. Yeah, I don't know what to sell, though. Like, some of the weapon combos might be really good. Like, I don't know what they turn into. I, I'm pretty sure... At this point, I'm supposed to have, like, upgraded and actually transformed weapons. Because I have a bunch of weapon transform crystals. Oh my god, this team hits so fucking hard. What the fuck? 5k? 5k, 5k, 4.6. 3.4, 5.5. Jesus Christ. They get their stagger bar so high. At the next save point, I'll look at upgrading Lightning's weapon, I, I, I reckon. Okay, these are stash too. This is a lot of enemies. I'm assuming we're going to fight all of them. I'm going to Decepticon them. I hate these Cyclone Andes. Attacking the wrong targets. Yeah, kill the fucking Cyclone Andes. They're way worse. Quake! The only purpose I know for Quake so far is if in a preemptive, if you Quake immediately, it staggers the whole enemy party. So you can clean them up like that. That's the only use I've found for Quake. Other than that, it doesn't seem to do any damage or anything. Uh, you guys are just hard chilling over there. And then, Are you hiding loot in that corner? No. Okay. I don't think we need to bother with those. Then. Mm, can I get a preemptive on one of these on the outer edge? This is a lot of enemies. Got it. Let's go. Did not. Did we not have preemptive there? Uh -oh. uh, we need to kill the cyclone Andy first, though. Blitz it. Blitz it. Blitz it. Blitz it. We're going to get really hurt in a second. Uh, it's okay. We're still in... Okay, we're still in bully mode. It's fine. So we've slowed everything. We should be fine. Protects are up. Shells are up. Anti-lightning's up. All right, now we go DPS. What's that? Coggers down. What's that? Oh, it causes them to be interrupted. Oh, that's really good on these, actually. Just 
that stops their Cyclone kick. Or Tornado kick, or whatever it is. Well, didn't do it with a preemptive, but that's okay. You did, you missed the Flanitas. They were, they were glorious. They lived up to their dream. Woo! Every step of the way. Uh, we're about to have the reunion of uh, Fang and Vanille. And uh, the great mystery of their relationship will be revealed to us. It is assuredly going to be a moment. <laughs> mystery. I don't even know where it came from to claim that they were uh, roommates. That just came from the chat. I've not seen any indication of that. Uh, 6k points. We should spend some of these. What is blindside? Bolster attack or ruin ahead of attack queue when non-stagger target is not targeting you. Okay. Strength plus 12. That's pretty mighty. Show me something cool with uh, Synergist, pal. We've got everything. Okay. Uh, let's finish off your medic tree then. I guess if we can, we boost you in Commando and Saboteur. Uh, Commando has some HP and strength missing. Let's get it. You've gone up a level. Glorious and Saboteur. Kursaga. Render targets with a wide radius, interruption prone, and deal magic damage. So now she'll do that AoE style. Fantastic. Good news, one and all. Do these give really good loot? Why would they have this random trash pack to sort of AFK? Back me up. I don't, I mean, they, they have these like weird packs and I'm like, well. Oh. I can only imagine it must do something. Yeah, it looks like Kasaga's hard to land. Either that or she's AoE casting it on one person. That's Kasaga, I guess. Change of plan. Appreciate it. Uh oh. This is really bad. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that was really bad. Uh, uh, we're going to die here. Thank you. I'm not using Sentinel. No, I refuse. I don't like it. Thanks. I guess what I should have done is done this, so she's a sentinel, and then uh, yeah, I should have done this, and then had lightning blitzing everything. That is what should have happened. Okay, yeah, I can admit, I can admit, I can admit, shut up. Less fun. Uh, like when it's like this, so they're all getting the tornado kick, right? Fuck off. So does she take all the tornado kicks when we do that? Yeah, she does, and we take no damage. Okay. <laughs> got a very small pick. I take it personally. Finally, I can admit my mistakes. Okay. 
That's the difference. I can admit it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I can admit it. Yeah, 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 whatever. Finally, fantasy. It does mean I need a new paradigm now, though. So you've created... Yet oh, shit, I didn't even check the loot. Did anybody see what loot we got? Oh, I haven't got any more paradigms. Oh, I have the one oh, I want. Yeah, 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 it would be Delta person. Attack. Okay. Stubborn old man yells at Sentinels. Look, the problem with Sentinel is when you play it, it's fucking boring. All right, should we check out this ATB item? Hold on. I've got some credit chips to sell. Uh, incentive. Didn't know that. Like, we've only just got them. In my defense, they've been recent. I don't know who drops them, but we should have farmed the shit out of them. Um, no, what did I say? Uh, we're going to look at somebody's weapon. All right, let's... What's she using? The Gladius? Gladius level four. Okay. Right. What's likely to be the multiplier item that is best for weapons? Or, as we've discussed, does it matter? I have 15 murky oozes. Let's put 10 murky oozes in. That's only 1.25. Another five. Is it in fives? 1.5. So that's 15 murky oozes. If I put five barbed tails in... Nothing happens. What if I put another five in? Two. Okay. So, what was that? 25? 25 got a double XP bonus. Right? So now we want to put conductors in. Holy. Hold on. Hold on. No. Let's just send one of these. Level five. So when does the weapon cap out? Let's put another three... Let's put 4k into it. It's level 8. So is it level 10? Uh, right, so let's buy some more... Uh, okay, we got 9... 11. So we need like 20 more thingies. Let's go shopping. We want to go to Creature Comforts, I think it was. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, these all sell for the same price. So, are they the same or not? I don't know. Is there any way of telling? This has scales, so is that for armor? A stout bone that must once have supported a heavy frame. So, is that swords? I don't know. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Barbed stingers. Daggers. Sharp things. A fierce beast. Uh, ooze. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to guess this, so I think we might Google it. Because I just don't know the answer. Alright, let me ask this question before I do this. Before I go down this road. Is there a difference in these as multipliers for specific items? Because it feels like it's supposed to be. No. Yes. No. No. Kinda. Shrews. No. No. Yes. <laughs> Hey, yeah, just look it up. <laughs> just look it up. Okay. Right, we'll do this together so we all know what we're talking about. We're on GameFAQs, the source of all knowledge. 
You guys might have figured it out by now that I kind of have a thing for well-organized guides. Oh my god. Um, this makes a very long guide. Ugh. The basics. Your goal is upgrading weapons and accessories, but this guide is about weapons. Oh god, is accessories like a whole different post? Uh, build up XP so that weapon gains levels. You do this through using organic and synthetic components, uh, which have different properties. Every weapon has a max level, at which point its level is replaced by a star. When it reaches this point, you upgrade it with catalysts. Okay, so that's what we knew from the, uh, the in-game guide. You'll find that certain components, specifically organic components, will give weapon and XP multiplier that will increase the XP it receives from future components. Other components... very small dick. Not right thing. now. We're reading a book, smart. Fucking hell. I've got to read... I've got to get me goggles out. Me notepad. You'll find that certain components, specifically organic components, will give uh, an XP multiplier, will increase the XP it receives from future components. Uh, the synthetic ones decrease the multiplier. The maximum multiplier is 3x. Okay. Organics. Any component that comes from a plant or animal is organic. Okay. Uh, which is S3 efficient upgrading. I'll be talking about these three specific components in this oh, guide. Sorry, did I interrupt? Bones, oozes, and tails. Bones, oozes, and tails. These are sold at creature comforts. Uh, okay. Any component that is a piece of machinery. Oh, but this fucking guy, man. Oh, my God. Uh, these give much more XP than organic components, but cause them to gradually lose its XP multiplier. I'll be talking about these three specific. Crankshafts, accelerators, and ultra-compact reactors. I'm gonna let you finish. You'll gain access through progressing the story. Accelerators and ultra-compact reactors are sold at the R&D depot, which you complete a different chapter to blah, 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 blah. Okay. The process. Uh, chapter 9 is when you start getting money. See? I wasn't being weird. Uh, they're dropping plentiful amounts from Psycho as you fight. This makes it a natural time to focus on upgrades. So we naturally hit the point at the right time. This is good. Okay. You won't have access to the R&D Depot, but that's fine because those components are overkill. All you need are crankshafts. Crankshafts grant 215 XP with no multiplier. That means with three, you get 645. But what about four? Uh, number one, use 36 sturdy bones, barbed tails, or vibrant oozes. This will get you a 3x. Use as many crankshafts at once as you like. If you use them all at once, they will all take advantage of the XP multiplier. It only lowers after upgrading is done. This means that you can save yourself organic components by using... So it's 36 to get 3x. So we were right on counting the number. All right, so 36. At this point, the highest you truly need to go is the max level of the weapon. That makes a lot of sense. Which is either level 21 or 26, depending on the weapon. Frankly, you, don't, you truly do not... Uh, you, tr you don't truly need this to progress. But if you really want to upgrade at this point, this is the best method. And that's for chapter 11 onwards. Okay. This process is almost exactly the same, except the catalyst wants the equation. And you'll be using uh, mostly ultra-compact reactors. Each compact costs 50,000 gil. What the fuck? Uh, I imagine particle accelerators as well. These cost 10,000 gil and give 4,800. Uh, it's not nearly as efficient as ultra-compact reactors, but the accelerators are best for upgrading accessories and tier 1 weapons. As they require just less shit. Okay. Weapon analysis. So, do they only upgrade at level 26? That's all I need to know. I don't want to know anything else than that. This goes for... Go to this post for more details. As for the analysis of which weapon is best for each character, who cares? I don't wish to present this as an end-all be-all. Every weapon has a specific catalyst. I'll make sure to indicate it. So, let's get a weapon to 21 and are uh, close to. Uh, oozes are good, right? So we need a bunch of oozes. Like, 36 or some shit. So let's get, just... Let's get 72, and then we're good for a while. Okay. Uh, and then we want to go to Lenora's garage. And get... What the fuck was it called? Crankshafts. These are really expensive, dude. Let's get, uh... 20k... Let's get 25. Okay. Thank you. 
All right. There's somebody in the chat called Tra Crankshaft, and now that's just fucking blown my mind. <laughs> Hello, Crankshaft. Okay. The Gladius. Yes, I know we're over-leveling one person's weapon. We wouldn't ordinarily do that, but fucking shut up. We know. Right. So we're going to put 36, right? XP bonus times three. Uh, how many fucking debris did it say to put in? Crankshafts? Can you crank crankshafts, shaft? I really wish it would tell us if we're overkilling this. This is 22,000 experience we're putting into this. Uh, yeah, I don't know whether we're overkilling or not. Like, a, a prediction of the level you go to? Yeah, let's save, actually. Let's do a bit of saves coming. Fuck it. Commit. It's most of our money we're spending right now. Just to be clear, we're spending most of our money. Okay, still got the 3x. Like, let's send the crankshafts. Let's send 25. Fuck it. Oh, that's still not enough. Holy shit. All right, she now has a level 19 weapon. So, let's do... Uh... Let's do... Ooh, it needs 3,000 XP a time. Let's do... Fuck it. We'll send the whole thing. We've saved. Right, there's the 3x. These are cheap as shit, anyway. Uh, that's only one level. We need it to go up two more levels. So we can assume we need about six to 7,000 experience. So, let's go back to the shop. Go to Lenora's garage and get some more crankshafts going. Yeah, that's all our money. Let's not be poor. Let's get ten. I've got to reload this anyway because it's absurd that we've made one person's weapon overpowered and everyone else is wearing level one. Let's say, let's send 9k. 22. Right. So. This has not made it so it changes to a different weapon. <clears throat> yeah, so this weapon needs level 26 to change. Okay. Right. Let's reload. How do I do that? <laughs> right, I think what we do then... Who's with me on this, right? Let's get a bunch of the cheap things that give us the 3x multiplier. Apply that to most people's shit and then send a bunch of XP into them. And then we'll have a relatively all-round team. What do you think on that? That seems pretty reasonable to me. I think if we can buy... Uh, I don't know whether we need to look up something else for accessories. Because the, the dude was like, that's a whole different three-hour post. To read that. Alright, I'm invested in oozes. I love me some oozes. Can we buy... Wait. Why have I only got 11,000 gil? Is this before we sold all the stuff? Have I fucked up? Uh, oh, is this the wrong save file? Okay. Fuck. Okay. Uh, that's alright. It just means we got a bunch of stuff. And um, from what I could tell, it consumes the multiplier, but it doesn't, like, use it all up. So it's not like you're sending, um... This is fine, actually. We just need, uh, some more, um... Use. 
I, th I think this is fine. So we want to do this in waves of 36, don't we? So let's buy... Okay, we can only do this with a couple of items. And then they'll sit with a 3x multiplier for a while. That's okay. Wait, did I buy them out? Because they're only 80 a piece. Oh, I see. Uh, what was the other item we could use? Yeah, we can't... Why can I only buy... Oh, you can only have 100. Okay, so it's an item cap. So what was the other things? Sturdy bones. Yeah, I think it was. All right, that'll do. Okay, so let's... Uh, what's, what level did we get her weapon to here? Right, so her Gladius is level 9, so she's okay. Let's leave her alone. Uh... So, let's do, uh, do we think Fang's around forever or not? They're not going to let us invest into a character that's going to leave, I don't think. And I like Fang. Okay. Okay, 3x for her, and let's give her... We've got 25 crankshafts, and we could do 4 upgrades. So, let's say... And we've got some bits of bobs we could throw in as well. So, let's say 10 apiece. Okay, so you could have all 8 of those. Does that reduce our multiplier? I bet it does. Yeah, it's down to 2x. Um, what's our other bullshit? 1... Right, let's get rid of some of these. I don't know what the conversion rate is. Let's see if we just get it back to 3x. Still 2x. Still 2x. At least it'll clean up our random inventory down to the things we want. Alright, so that's stayed there. Fair enough. Um, right, that's her bladed lance. Let's do... Um, I would like to do accessories as well, you know. But let's do people's weapons. I think that's fair. Alright, let's give you 36 of these. Um, what does the... Let's give... Not a lot. Let's get rid of that item. Now, don't tell me that took me below 3x. No, it didn't. Okay. Uh, right. Let's give them 25 and 4. Let's give them like 7. I think that's fair. That 8 is fine. That gives him a level 14 gun. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, he's got a level 14 gun now. Uh... Let's boost. Uh, who else do we really want to boost here? Snow? No, let's do Vanille. Yeah, it's Vanille's magic weapon. I'm fine with that. Accessories we'll do when we get some more money. Mm, you can have nine. Yeah, it only gets it to level 9 on the Belladonna wand. Okay, and then... We're not using snow, so we've done you, we've done you. Okay. We are using some level 1s. What's this one? 100 HP? 80 B advantage. White cape, which is resist fog, resist pain. We boosted that one. 
I think boosting our, like, straight magic and stuff is really good. We probably want to buy another shaman's one. Uh, alphabetize me, please. Yeah, we've only got one shaman's mark, which gives a lot more magic. Probably harder to upgrade, though. Like, magician's marks are cheaper. Uh, this metal arpan, resist, deprotect. Not too arse about upgrading that. That's a strength bonus. Black belt is physical damage reduction. That's good. We've got two of those, and they're both level one. Yeah, the scarf seems like it's probably really overpowered, doesn't it? Mm, should we throw some stuff at the scarf? And apparently, these are much easier to cap out. So, maybe we're going to overdo it here. I don't know. Uh, what was it called? Whistlewind Scarf. Alright, let's send it. Let's give it 36 of these. Does this go to 3x as well? I've got to send it. It doesn't matter. Oh, it's done. <laughs> well, that fucks us up, because now we've got no multiplayer stuff. <clears throat> oh, we can change it. Oh, we can actually transform it into something. Do we send a transformation crystal? What do you think? Sure, why not? The Aurora Scarf. First strike. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. And now we can start upgrading it again. Oh, first strike. It's Poggies. Cool. All right, uh, we're done throwing money away for the moment. Um, who should we give this to? Probably the leader every time, right? Fully charges the ATB gauge prior to battle. So what does this upgrade into? Ooh. Tiny yummy. Yeah, I think some of these items... I mean, I, I got to assume then that some of these resistance items probably turn into ribbon. All right, I'm happy with that. Let's save. Uh, we might get a pre-haste item. I don't know. What the fuck? Everything's respawned. Fuck this place. Can you just farm endlessly here? I think you can. Yeah, I'm not going to do that, obviously, but interesting. Uh, hopefully we actually see some value in upgrading everybody's weapon, like actual damage numbers. I mean, she's gone from a level 1 to level 19 or whatever stuff. Gotta farm the metal slimes. Yeah. Well, we'll see what super bosses await us. How's that? Uh. Oh, really? Reels? That old guy? Fucking hell. Wasn't that guy like 105 in that show? Hopefully, he hasn't got full Vince McMahon on it. Yeah, I'm not worrying about endgame for now. We'll just carry on. All good. <laughs> okay, we will sentinel when the time comes. We'll get curses and debuffs out. When we see them going for their tornado kick, we will do it. I promise you this. Coming soon. Thanks. It's not yet, though. There it is.
Yeah, that's broken. <laughs> that's flat out broken. <laughs> they all did nothing. Fair enough. Having a tank? Boo! We've not seen the MDI recently. We don't even play with healers anymore. Tanks and healers are old news, buddy. Old news. You gotta keep up with the times, kid. Uh, I only look around for loot, pal. Let's see. Preemptive achieved. Yep. The five DPS meta. Uh, it's been close to happening in the past. Wouldn't surprise me. We have had the five DPS meta before. Okay, show me some damage numbers. We the most we've ever seen is 5.5k. 3.5. 3.8. Okay, the multiplier's going up. We've had 800 multipliers in the past. 4.7. 5.2. 5. 5. 5.1. 5, 5. 6. 6 broken. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, stonks are going up. Stonks are going up. I think we'll probably see the most damage output with uh, Saz and Vanilla. It's likely to be what happens. Oh, this is a horrible fight. Uh, okay. Buffs and debuffs, team. More buffs and debuffs. Hope, I need you to go faster. Not sure first strike's doing much for us. I think it's a good item for trash farming, and maybe if we get it on haste, but... Uh, Scarf on Synergist might be better, yeah. If we give it to uh, Hope, that might be better play. Yeah, I don't think for Lightning it's too useful. Getting the buffs out earlier, getting to DPS. I can see that as being a nice bonus. Once again, Hope gets all the good gear. As is life. The damage bonus for these weapons is actually in the non-stagger bonus. Like, we're, we're hitting for 1,200 outside of stagger, like, pretty regularly. I kind of want some physical damage bonus for, um... Lightning. She's got a magic bonus item right now. He's wearing a scarf. It was destiny. It was foretold. Oh, Hope as a, like, gameplay character is stonks her up. Hope as a personality. Oh, that's a whole different thing. And it was just getting started. That's a whole different thing. Uh, we've not missed any loot, have we? I don't think so. There's one here. Yeah, Operation Nora has ended. Oh, I didn't change his loot. Oh, shit. That's my fault. Let's move that blitz to uh, a more middle enemy. Time for another approach. Uh, we might need a sentinel here. Uh, 
Maybe. Keep the enemy off balance. Is that hitting both of those? No, it's not. I don't know what Chris is on today. Chris is really good at making his dinners at home to bring in. I, on the other hand, uh, get four tiny wholemeal muffins, a little pack of chicken, and I stick it on the bread. I call it a GG. <laughs> Chris will make like Chris likes making. Uh, Chris likes doing a lot of cooking at weekends, so Chris will make like uh, a chili or something that's like for like three or four days. I am not that organized, like, at all. F? Oh, no. Has Chris set something sinking and uh, gone for lunch? Have you set something sinking and gone for lunch? Just have a check us. We're losing, we're losing correction. I think Chris trolled us with his chili. Yeah, we're in red signal. Hold. Is it you? Okay, it is Chris. It's okay. Res oh, from Google Drive? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, so you're really good about making, like, a large chili or whatever at weekend and then spooning it out for the week, whereas I get shitty muffins and call it good. Yeah. I freeze it. Yes. He's a batch cooker and a freezer. There you go. Let's get this over with. You asked for it. Uh, leftovers, the whole Monty from Chris. Well, the thing is, like, you know, when you buy food, it's not generally good. Like, it's not True. Good. So, um, fish Yeah. The single man's life is always a bit extra. Quite the opposite for me. I'm always like, is this enough? Like, we need... Every dinner's got to be like four chicken breasts. Okay. Yeah. We need to buy the big multi-packs. Costco yeah, forever. I only buy exactly what I need. It's, it's kind of funny because I remember like, I've been running the house and your fridge is just full of stuff. Yep, our fridge is full and that lasts us like three days. Like, okay, I've got this for this day, this for this day, <laughs> this for this day. So that's it. Yep. <laughs> my, my cupboards are loaded to bear. Is, uh, feeding every, especially weekend, three squares a day. That's a lot of food that goes through our, uh, goes through our hands. Garuda? So light. How do you figure this makes us lucky? Because when we kill it, we're one step closer to Vanille. How's that? Well, when you put it that way. Scanners? Who am I looking at? The Calvinka Striker. Okay. Let's get debuffs out. Slows on. Absorbs lightning. Ooh, not really weak to anything. Delivers devastating physical attacks. Susceptible to slow and curse. Alright. So there's curse. Uh, debuffs are on. Let's go to... Uh, what's it called? Decimation. Yeah, decimation so he gets his protective buffs up. We'll do a bit more damage. I wonder if this will have something we need to sentinel. Could do. Yeah, I think we can hold a little longer before we need to heal. But I could take one. Are all these sweeps AoE is going to be the question. Okay, depression's on. So let's go to heal for a sec. We're about to stagger. Let's get one big heal out. And then let's go relentless. What? Oh, and there should be two. Yeah, I, I ordered two. Right, show me some big ass numbers. Although we have no D shell or D protect. Just one. Right, there might be another delivery coming then. Oh, Christ. We are doing so much damage. We're almost at an 800 multiplier. 3.2, 2.6, 876 multiplier. Holy cow. 
That poor boss. That poor fucking boss. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I see. Another one. One big bad stroke of luck after another. So happy I could cry. Oh, he doesn't want a piece. Tell him, King. <coughs> Hold. Oh. There you are. Uh, okay, you might be right. You might be right. An immediate hip grab. You might be right. You might be right. Oh, it's the same team again. Okay. Uh, slow didn't land. Okay, now slow. Whoa, 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 whoa. We are getting hurt. Quick heal. Right, back to bully. Okay, we got curse on. We don't need that. We need decimation. Is this one different? No. Yeah, we want protect some shells. Get the shells up, kid. You've got until we hit stagger. Oh, this looks bad. Uh, Delta attack. Did that provoke landing time? I think it might have done. Oh, is it not going to be like Baldur's Gate 3? And we're not going to get a full-on sex scene? Sag. Right, let's go with diversity here just to top up the team. What's It's Delta attack I want. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go Relentless. Unless it does Hellstorm again. Uh, I think we're fine on Dam. Let's push the stagger. Can we launch this guy and CC him, or he might do health? There it is. Delta attack. Perfect. Back to Relentless. Good job, team. No one took any damn. All clean. I hope I can start mixing and matching my own team. Just holding a breast. I have missed these bosoms. Just straight up breast grab. Awesome. That's a hello I can get on board with. Don't eat her ass. What the fuck? You've still got time. Bang. There's... There's something I need to tell you. Making me worry like that. At this point, I hope they're roommates. Uh... What's wrong? Oh, uh, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Uh, so, uh, what's on the agenda? Uh, toppling the sanctum? No, I mean really. He's serious. We're gonna take down the sanctum and give Cocoon back to the people. The Falci have called the shots for long enough. We're gonna kill the gods. Pull this off, it'll be a miracle. Well, good thing Lady Luck's on our side. <laughs> Butterflies. Really old. Check this out. A miracle. Grand Pulse style. 
Are we going to Pulse? Oh, I'm totally down. Confirm my theory. Holy shit, are we like Avatar? The weapon makes sense now. They tied up the loose ends. The weirdo weapon makes some sort of sense. That's a good girl. All right. Let's get on. Stash. Hoo hoo. Hoo hoo. Get Saz a chair? No one's helping him. What the fuck? Guys! Guys! Saz is hanging on by his fingertips! Such devastation. Are we not going to pulse? Oh, it's just opening a hole inside. Okay. I had my doubts. But I also believe that if we stuck together, somehow we could change our fate. Yeah, ending of this game is old Vanille sat around a campfire speaking to her children or something. through there we're still gonna have our talk so let's survive this first yeah right yeah lesbians can have children uh <laughs> and plus it's war there's orphans everywhere just grab a few You can change the comp of your team now. All right. Okay. So now we play with the last team we ever play with. Uh... Oh, this is tough. Um... Uh, shit. Where do we swap them? <laughs> I can't remember where we swap them. Uh, battle team. There we go. Right. Uh, I've got a very small pick. I take it personally. It's not cringe or we will all collectively unsub. I should put them in tier list order. I haven't got a sentinel, it's true. I don't really want one right now. Sloga and Kursaga are great. His defensives are really good, uh, but these just do the most damage. And I don't know if you know this, but I like it when number go burr. I'm going to try this team. Uh, so we would want... <clears throat> Probably to start with Bully to get all the buffs out um, and start debuffing. And then we would probably do... Relentless Assault can stay. Convalescence, we would probably have Commando. Uh, 
Ravager Saboteur. Yeah, Ruthless. Yeah. And we would have, uh, obviously, Commando Ravager Medic for healing. Mm. Uh, there may be a time when we want to heal... Uh. <laughs> triple Rav or you're a coward. <laughs> I don't see a point in a triple Rav. Like, <sighs> Commando does so much damage during and launch during stagger windows. I don't see why we would do triple Rav, really. Unless we were, like, just hard clearing packs as fast as possible. That may Maybe, but then, even, then you get blitz and stuff. It might be a case that our damage goes so high passively that we don't give a shit. We just blast. But I don't think we're there yet. Uh, medic. Commando. Uh, medic. We might need to do some emergency shit like that. Uh, and for the, for the the as a crowd pleaser, we'll have triple rev. Although I don't see myself using it um, outside of certain scenarios. Uh, <laughs> you fucking idiots. What's generate? Random party paradigms. Okay. Uh, right, we need to fix gear now then. All right, main focus of youths, obviously, commando. What is Scourge? Deal heavy damage with attack to target about to recover from Stagger. Okay. Yeah, your commander first. Uh, 12,000 points for our boy. All right. Uh, so this is going to be Ravager Synergist Focus. Has he got everything? He does. Fire up, good pickup. Oh, renew. Re oh, revive allies from KO. Nice. Okay, so we're getting res. Perfect. That's good. Uh, and for you, you are going to be debuff and healer focused for the most part. But also damage. You're an all rounder. I like you. Uh, we've got all Saboteur. Let's boost your Ravager stuff. Who do we want to have gear? Uh, who do we want to have first strike? Probably... Saz, right? Most likely Saz. All right, do I have to remove these? All right. Okay. Uh, can I remove from everybody now? I can. Okay. What do we want for her? I think a mix of physical and magic is just all around better for her as a commando. She, uh... She should lead to, lead into physical a bit more, right? Because ravages most of her magic stuff, so physical is probably the play. Which would be the power wristband. Do we want to give her double power wristbands? Hmm. Because she's got to be commando. She's got to be commando like 90% of the time. All right, Saz. First strike. So we want him to have the scarf. Uh, what's it called? Aurora scarf. So let's give him first strike scarf. 
and magic, probably. That makes sense, right? We wanted to have a magic buff. Uh, he's got to be doing uh, Ravager most of the time. And I think for you, it's double magic, probably, which means you get the Shaman's thing. Which is 64 magic. Do we want to double magic you? I have another... We're not wearing anything defensive, but, like, that's kind of being a little bitch. <laughs> Alright, this is my smoking squad. I think they're going to smock. Oh, this goes horribly wrong, and we immediately need a... Uh... We immediately need a fucking... Sentinel in the team. I'm not going to sell any weapons because I assume they're the bases for nearly every weapon, is my guess. Although I don't use... What's Libra Scope for? All enemies. Fuck that. Give me the money. A bag of shit. Uh, okay. This only goes wrong if I suddenly have to put someone else in. But uh, whatever's about to go wrong, we'll find out together. Seems good. All right, quick piss break, guys. <clears throat> Is it, oh, God, it's one o'clock already. All right, back in a second.
Getting on for 10 years now. Beautiful memories wipes tear. Sorry about that. A little call from the wife. Things to organize. I've got a very small dick, let's take it personally. Your hero is waiting for his inevitable return. Uh, I promise you, Snow will appear at some point. I don't know whether this team we've made is complete clown shoes, but we'll find out very shortly. I'm hoping it's just an absolute DPS monster and it just shreks the world. That's what I'm hoping, is we've got a mega team. Let's find out. Right, we're starting in bully mode, right? So there should be a ton of DB. Okay, he's hasting everybody. What's she doing? What's Vanille doing? The only problem with Vanille is she can't A or we debuff people. Snow is the clown to our shoes. Oh god, she is a monster. Yeah, I don't think for general trash we have uh, her buffing debuffing. It's not worth it. So I need another... Hmm. I think we have her DPSing. It's my thought process. Is we, uh, we don't bother with D-Shell and D-Protect for trash mobs. So we need a synergy that is... Um, uh, commando... We start with Commando, Sars, uh, he's Synergist, isn't he? Synergist and Ravager, probably, is probably the play. Yeah, something like that. Hmm. So she's kind of just wasting time buffing the debuffing everybody. Uh, so let's change. Uh, Triple Ravager's got a go for now. So we want you as Commando uh, Synergist Ravager Decimation. Start like that. Oh, I'll try some big boy fights. I'm hoping this works out. We don't need a sentinel. This is a lot of enemies, though. <laughs> uh, we kill the lady first, I think. All right, this should haste us up. Let's go for some blitzes. A lot of debuffs here. We don't have any protective stats, which might be a problem. Out of my way. <laughs> Vigilance. Bravers up. Saz is taking a kicking. Let's uh, let's 
go to healing for a sec. Oh, she's still alive. Uh, her healing is kind of weak sauce, which is not helping. Thanks. My damage is incredible. Defensively, we're very weak. We're not getting buffs out fast enough. Like, look at this. He's barely got any buffs out at this point. We absolutely shrek people. It's just too many buffs, isn't it? Like, Sass is buffing for, like, the entire fight. <laughs> We've killed practically everything by the time this uh, gets going. Like, for the Reaver, we probably want to debuff him. De shell him. And Carol. Alright, we finally got all buffs up, which we, then we would go to this one. Yeah, he's got to put out, what, 12 buffs to get us going? This is probably not our farming team. Unless we just stick with haste and then go into damage. Yeah, we're not even hitting stagger by the time we get going. Yeah, the ramping of 12 buffs, even with first strike, is a lot. Yeah, we hit, we're hitting stupidly hard, though. We're hitting idiot hard. This is going to be a tough one. We scan these, right? Yeah. Thanks. Haste is up on everybody. Braver. I think, see, at this point, I think we go uh, damage. Yeah, this guy is so fucked. Oh, we got defaced. Maybe Vanille needs a bit more healing focus. Is she, why is she not casting anything? Is she silenced? What's happening? What's that? Is that faith down? Is that magic down? What is that? Is that silence? That's fog. Okay. How would I have checked that in game? Can I pause? Yeah. So, do I don't have a... Do I have a sooner? Okay, it's wearing off now. Here we go. Thank you. No, I'm not decimation. Uh, weakness. Oh, no. New strategy. Keep a cool head. Uh, we have an item that uh, will cleanse that. Jesus fuck! <laughs> Uh, we have an item that prevents fog. This is all good. We just need to get our uh, bearings in order. Do, who has a sooner? Hope has a sooner, but somebody else picked up a sooner. Was it you? I think lightning does have it. Okay. Wait, can I check a list of abilities? She does have it. Okay, so I could have cleansed it with that. Alright, that's fine.
That's fine. Uh, we'll level up later. 2,000 points is nothing right now. Okay. Holy shit. Okay. Short on dam. We're not short on damage. <laughs> as long as we don't get hit, we're fine. We're fine. It's not infinite juggle, but it's not bad. A lot of debuffs flying around now. This is the first time I've really seen that. Time for another approach. Kill, kill, kill. Just another battle. Yeah, just DPS through it all and we're all good. And what's next? <laughs> Some other gauntlet of death, maybe. Oh, a save point and loot. Okay. Before I give up on this team, which I'm not intending to do, but uh, I want to see, like, an absolutely mega stagger phase. I feel like Hope might have to join the team. Let's take it on a case-by-case -case basis. Let's do that. Been looking for you, Nabat. Your Eminence, please escape. I'll cover your retreat. Why don't you leave, Jill? Or rather, take your leave. Humans have no business here. What? Your eminence! No, not plain face horse crop lady! Magic? <laughs> I told you this guy was evil, I just sensed it. I assume this is Eden working through this guy. Monster! People are not yours to use! What else does one do with tools? Ah, no. Cocoon is a factory built by Valsi. A factory for the mass production of human thralls. Not anymore, it's not. What can Without our help, death is all of which you're capable. You saw the fools, a mindless mob drunk on fear of a viewless sea. If they only knew, a Lassie was the one filling their glasses. Lassie? <laughs> you mean me? <laughs> oh, child, perish the thought. I am more than that! I am Fancy. My name is Bartandalus. Bartandalus? Who the Super fuck is Bartandalus? And Lord Sovereign of the Cocoon Falsi. Who 
Where the fuck is Bart Sandalus? Barty? Oh, we're fighting Barty now. Uh, we may have needed a sentinel or defensives of some kind. Cocoons, nothing to you. Take down the enemy. What can we do? Okay, a lot of magic damage coming out. All right, let's go for right pauldron. Veil. Thanks. Let's go. Can we got some debuffs on it, if possible. Marty, you have nothing against my sheer weight of DPS. You are insignificant compared to the sheer power that is DPS. Uh -oh. None of the debuffs are landing, which is kind of annoying. Like, these shell and imperil are just not landing. Marty, have you met my friend DPS? It looks like this. Magic amplification. Okay, kind of annoying that he can't be debuffed, seemingly. We need to rebuff. Okay, you can be in perils. Nice. It's just hard to land the debuffs. Don't give up. Okay, top us off and then we go ham. After this blast blast. One more heal. And then it's hamburgers. Murder, 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 murder. Murder my children. 
educate this idiot. Uh oh, Destrudo. Are we dead? Wait, you reset his stagger bar? What kind of bullshit is that? What kind of clown fiesta are you trying to pull here, pal? You call that damage? You fucking poor. Almost there, kids. It's playtime. Show me what you're made of, kids. I can't see damage numbers. This makes me very sad. <laughs> 10,000? Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Someone's going to die. You can do it. Thanks. <laughs> Didn't die. Poggers. Oh, we're not even maxed on our stagger bar. F. Get the fuck out of here, old man. Get the fuck out of here. Piss off. The entire ring. The foul sea running the sanctum. Then... I guess it wasn't Eden controlling things after all. As I said, <gasps> I am Lord Sovereign. Lord Sovereign Barty. Guess Falci don't go down as easy as the rest of us. Ease is not the issue. You have not fought to win. You should know quite well already the sure way of dispatching our kind. Ragnarok. What's Ragnarok? Ah! 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 Don't you dare turn into a fucking crystal. I upgraded your weapon. Don't you fucking dare. Ragnarok is the beast one of you must become in order to lay waste to Cocoon. You have had the dream. One among you will become that monstrosity. Defeat Orphan. And destroy. Des defeat Orphan? The font of Eden's power. Orphan fuels Eden with strength. And Eden, in turn, sustains you and the rest of our kind. Destroy Orphan, and you'll release a force such as this world has never seen. Cocoon will be torn asunder. And why would we do that? So if I did that, destroy it often. <laughs> Your focus will be fulfilled. So what? Who says it has to be? <laughs> so we've got to kill the orphans. Sarah asked us to save Cocoon before she turned to crystal. Save it. And that's what we're going to do. Sarah was trying to tell us how to complete our focus. And we have... <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to help you see the truth of things. The moment you arrived, your friend wept crystal tears. This was because her focus required that you be brought together. That girl did nothing but assemble the tools for Cocoon's destruction. Did it never occur to you? Or did you simply refuse to countenance the thought? If you will not face the truth, then face the peril of your plight. A bird? Oh, not the hoo-hoo! Evil stash bird? Songbird? See how stark reality is. Come on. Why have they come up with weird names for the Falsies? Barty? Orphan? This 
is bad. The yoke's jammed. What? Not the yoke. <laughs> Something's coming. <sighs> Not so fast, let's see. <laughs> Out of nowhere again. Out of nowhere again. Every game. <laughs> My leash. I swear to God, if Roche is in rebirth, I'm fucking done. I'm uninstalling. The hell kind of ship is this? Fighting on his own? Clever, aren't you? Can we do something? Pew pew! You got me? I give up! I don't know what's going on anymore. The shield. Yeah, the shield. We got through the shield. Saz, you had one fucking job, bro. <sighs> My boy had one job. see paranoia. Why keep a chunk of pulse under the floorboards? Hmm. Is this what the Primarch wanted us to Because you were together at one time. A place for Lissi right? to accept their fate. Do you really think our focus is what Dysley said it is? You mean become Ragnarok? Who's likely to become Ragnarok if that happens? Shattuck. It's hope, isn't it? That's <clears throat> what the vision's telling us. And then we get to kill Hope. Out of luck. Worst case scenario, it's King Snow himself has to become Ragnarok to save his uh, beloved. It's almost like Dysley wants it to come true. Seems that way. He sure didn't mind explaining it. Here's your focus on a the sea are the ones chosen by the gods but to fulfill a task. So these are all the sea. I don't get it. You get a cool tattoo. Want to destroy cocoon? Maybe it's a foul sea thing. You know what I mean? No. Some grand design we just don't understand. You religious nut job, shut the fuck up. Huh. This fucking Javier Bardem hey, motherfucker sir. over here. Nothing from you. Recognize the true threat to the world's future. All right, what was the ring we got? We got a new shiny ring. What is that? The Entite Ring. Resist elements. That's probably overpowered as fuck. Uh, increase all elemental resistances by 10%. That's probably uh, some bullshittery there. Okay. Uh, time for a chit chat. What's up, King? Should I get on my knees? What? What?
Okay. <clears throat> hey, what's up, lady? I thought it was just based on time. Hmm. Uh, yeah, it's the sound mix, I think. The sound mix is a little all over the place with the music and stuff, but... Um, I can't change the individual audio options. That's not a thing, unfortunately. Any sneaky loots hiding in corners? Devs like putting things at the back. We know that. Oh, hey, I didn't see you up here. You crashed us into a building. I'm not talking about some jacked up autopilot either. Something wanted us to make it out of there. I made sure we did. You're saying that you didn't crash. Something else was flying the ship. Right. That's what happened. Okay. <clears throat> not his fault. It was it was doing it. It was doing it by itself. Not his fault. Uh, uh, uh. So, yeah, something was in control of the ship. Ocelots, thank you so much for the prime, man. Thank you, thank you very much. I believe him. Are you a falsy? Are you going to turn out to be some sort of Aerith thing? Like you're an ancient or some shit? We know she's been around for hundreds of years. We know that she's got a memory of what happened beforehand. You are sus as fuck and it's moving, me da moving you down the list like rapidly. So Dysley was really the falsy Bartandalus. Barty, yes. The he was talking about was that crazy Ragnarok dream we all had when we were made into a sea. One of us is supposed to become this Ragnarok thing and destroy Eden. Yes. Except we do that by destroying this orphan that gives Eden its power. Right. I think I have that part straight now. I'm glad you were there. We were there as well. But ready to get out of here? Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I gotta apologize. No, you can't do any wrong. No, Snow. Felt Sarah's focus. Not like you to second guess yourself. Our king is doubting himself. We should hurl ourselves at his knees. What about your plan to protect Cocoon? Either way, your faith in Sarah was strong. That strength got you this far. It was all wrong. Yeah. You tried so hard to convince us that you even fooled yourself. <laughs> You've been a total idiot. But still... It saved me. You trusted Sarah. Let that faith drive you. Oh, our king's having a moment of weakness. I don't like this. Where's his throne? He's probably not sat on his throne for a while. Tell him, King. It's snow time. Sarah. Talk to me, baby. Yeah. Oh, we should hook him up with the uh, the twin sisters. That'll perk him up. This could be... I mean... Those were just legends, right? 
Yeah, we need to fucking... We need to get him laid immediately. Take his mind off things. Yeah, take a ride on his bike, something like that. It'd be alright. I volunteer as tribute for snow. <laughs> I can't believe we're still in cocoon. It's kind of creepy. enemies with only one arm rude you clearly had plenty of arms because they've all got one arm oh no what the hell dude hasn't got a single talent point i love snow but he's not ready for this oh this is this is a disaster! Look what happened! And so it ends. <clears throat> you can't you can't just throw he's got fifty thousand fucking points banked up, game. Come on. Oh, you've changed the... You've changed the whole order of things. This is... Wait, did you lose my fucking par... Oh, for fuck off, man. Are you gonna really make me remake the fucking paradigms every time? Oh, suck a dick. What a fucking ball-chartling bunch of bullshit. What do we got here? Commando Synergy Saboteur. Don't laugh at me. Commander Ravager Medic. I've got a very small dick, and I take it personally. Talentless, snowless, oh, maidenless, and port. Yeah, we need ruthless. Okay, start with bully. What a bunch of fucking ball chartlers. I hate it. Right, now can we work as a team? What do you think? Yeah, get some fucking buffs out. Got some braver going. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, you're not landing like anything, which is really weird. She's landing zero debuffs. Thank you. Which is just odd. Okay, she managed to get poison on. What the fuck are these enemies? They're just cleaving us down endlessly. What the fuck? Jesus. Yeah, oh, Saz is dead. These are, uh, nasty. Uh, one of us has got res. I'm not sure who it is. I think it might be lightning. Let's kill this enemy. Uh, let's use a phoenix down. Thank you. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to have to put on some defensive equipment. Ooh, gross. Yeah, our damage has just suddenly dropped to fucking zero. We're hitting it for 60. Are we, let's scan these motherfuckers. What are these things? What the fuck? What's your story, pal? Weak to fire, weak to thunder, resistant to melee. Okay. Can alter its own form. Physical and magic resistance. So they just have a huge amount of armor until you get them into stagger. Okay. So being a bit more offensive and getting them... Oh, uh, getting preemptives is probably the play here. Yeah, and then they have absolutely no health. Okay, that's fine. 
So preemptives are giga powerful against them. That's fine. Your party members have unlocked the potential to assume all combat roles. From now on, you may also freely select the members of your battle team. To take a new role, a member must first learn an ability for that role. You can teach your party member new abilities via the Crystarium. So, we could make Lightning a Sentinel if we want to, I guess. <clears throat> the fifth arc. Arcs. Pulse arcs that came to Cocoon. This place. It must be an arc. An arc? That's what they called them. Long ago, the Falci who made their home on Grand Pulse were afraid of invasion from the outside. As part of their battle preparations, they created an army of living weapons, and they stored those weapons in arcs, and they hid the arcs all over the world. Okay, so not an arc and like we were thinking for evacuating people. So, this is basically a pulse armory. Mm -hmm. Most of us never believed in them. A few people tried searching, but they never found a thing. Who'd have thought to look on Cocoon? Right under our noses. <laughs> Some secret they kept. Yeah, those Sanctum guys, what are they up to? The story's not done. There's more. They used to say the Arcs had a more practical purpose. Mm. Huh. Really? Yeah, to force Lassie to master their shiny new powers. Okay, so, I get it. Dysley's goal is to forge us into stronger weapons. Right. Not Seath, but monsters all the same. <laughs> Think of it as training for the fight ahead. Oh, That's fuck right. off. Been training since level one, dude. We got the loot. This is an armory. There's loot to be had, my friends. But we definitely want to sneak up on these. So I'm hoping that if we go like this is the start. And we do that. Then we could kill these very, very quickly. Right, game? Seems good. Okay. <laughs> much better than the first time we fought these. Much, much better. Uh, I've got to admit, if we could get that off, and considering these are physical resistant, try Ravage is probably the play, isn't it? Let's try it. Oh, is this okay? That's just back where we came. I was, I was considering, is there some loot behind where we were starting from? But that's okay. Uh, what is that thing in the back? That looks very Warhammer. Disaster. Oh, that, was, 
was a bad plan. We didn't get the stagger. New strategy. Uh, I mean, we didn't start with Quake because there was only two of them. I should have. <clears throat> oh, maybe not, actually. It doesn't matter for two enemies. I think we're alright. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. This is fine. We didn't lose stagger, but if you don't Quake, they don't go into stagger and it drops off. So, it's five for two enemies. You need to Quake to... Like, for these two, I would probably... Uh, we can't sneak up on them. No, we're going to have to do this legitimately. Uh, start with Relentless Assault. Yeah. Well, we were killing the bomb first. It's not about attacking early, though. Just, uh... Filling the bomb boy. As long as they're not double cleaving the team, I think we're okay here. Make hope for Van Neal, the Don't you backseat me. Don't you do that. I like my little team, thank you. I like my little team. Alright. Oh! She dead? Damn, that's what you gotta watch for. Let's get rid of this guy. I was about to swap to double medic. And so it ends. We were right on it for double medic. Nasty. Nasty boys. Just need to heal a bit earlier. I was trying to kill, uh, kill this before. Uh, Before he did anything to us. That's the problem. When they start cleaving us, that's so nasty. Well, it takes one or two separate attacks, though, to not have it be a problem. Thank you. Oh, almost, almost. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Be careful. I'm trying. You keep healing us. We'll kill this. You keep healing. We need to get her Cura. Right, we're fine now. Yeah, her heals are a little too weak. Let's put some points into a medic, because she's still not got Cura yet. It's not going to kill us. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're not going to die. In fact, it's dead after two of these. Let's go. Nice. All right, how many points have we got for you, my good lady? Uh, 11,000. Okay, we're racking up serious points here very quickly. But I assume I think they'll be consumed pretty fast. Yeah, uh... Medic. God, she can do everything. Do we have somebody who's like a permanent buffer? We could do that now. Res. Uh, where's Cura? Is it on an entirely different level? Maybe. We got Cura very... Uh, no, it's not here either. Hmm. Okay, maybe she's just not strong enough. Maybe she's already got it.
10k for office rat. Taiki, thank you so much, Taiki. Thank you. Thank you so much. God damn, Taiki, thank you very much. Welcome, new subs. Man, a huge amount of one month is in there as well. Hey, guys, thank you very much. Thank you. Closer Ten to K office rats. Office no, rat. no, no. Sit this, thank you so much. Smart, what the hell? 10k for office rat. Man, that is a huge amount of one monthers. How many people are here are just from like FF13 out of interest? I'm kind of curious. Welcome, all of you. Thank you so much. I'm curious as to how many people have come. Me? Hey, guys. Welcome, man. Yeah, we were, we've got like... Uh, so if you've not been around, we've been doing all the single player FFs because I didn't play them until I started 14, like a year and a half ago. Uh, we've got 13 to 5 remaining before we head to Rebirth. Uh, playing blind because I never played any of these games as a kid. So I don't know what's going to happen. I'm keeping you up to date with my thoughts as best as possible. Uh, can you get anything new out of there? You can. Any new ability? Bar frost, bar fire. Okay. I'm free. I'll freely admit my team isn't working out quite as I liked. Uh, we might have to consider defensive options, which is less damage, which is never nice. I'm going to stick with it for a little while. It's only been a couple of fights. It's only been a couple of fights, so I'm, I'm, just, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in give up territory yet by any means. <laughs> Jeopardize boost chain bonus of staggered target upon its. Oh, that means that she would. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so her stagger damp is going even higher. That's great. Uh, she got everything now out of commando? No, she's missing an HP buff from somewhere. And strength and magic, so there's something somewhere. There it is. Fuck you, game. <laughs> Fair enough. <clears throat> We probably need some more upgrades as well. I'm not sure how we're looking on the money front. The hero's amulet. What is that? Critical bravery. Uh, cast bravery when HP is low. Eh. Eh. Seems kind of jank, honestly. Arc thing is here to train us up for the end of the world, huh? Bastard. No sneaky loot. Hmm. I've got a very small dick, and I take it personally. Did someone say it was a snow day? <laughs> it's not a snow day yet. Let's put it that way. It's not a snow day just yet. Uh, I think we want triple Ravager against these. What do you think? Am I uh, against the bombs? It feels like a triple Ravager play against the bombs. I don't know. Let's see. Just nuke them down. I just don't want them to blow up on me, right? If I was getting a sentinel, it would be Fang, to be clear. If I'm getting a sentinel, it'll be Fang. I love snow in cutscenes. Snow is great over there. <laughs> Get an office rat squeak. Get an office rat squeak. No, thank you. No, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. You motherfucker. God, that claw hits so goddamn hard. Hmm. Okay. Next shop. We're going to go into a little bit more defensive stats. Next shop. Okay? That's what I'm doing. 
Ben K for office rats. <sighs> oh my god, it's Wonder Boy! How you doing, Wonder Boy? Good afternoon and a good Friday to you. Yeah, we got drama time is coming up uh, at uh, 4 p.m. Let's see what we have in uh, have in store for us today. After the FF11 uh, fiesta last time. Oh, I was greeting. The doctor's thing we have. Oh, she's there's the Cura. Okay. But Cura still doesn't do a lot. Shit me. Question. Mike, you are wrong. I'm wrong. Uh, question running through my brain right now. What spec is Hope? He's a synergist, right? So, is he a synergist? I think he is. Why does he have access to protect and shell and things? Oh, I need to do some science here. All right, if I went to her synergist tree, HP, strength, blah, 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 blah. Bravery, faith. So the same buffs that, uh, so those are the same buffs that What's-His-Face gets. In her saboteur tree, she gets strength, D-protect, the debuffs that Vanille gets. Okay. Where is this fucking numpty? Ben K for office rat. Synergist. So why does his synergist treat different? Oxy! Thank you so much, Oxy. Thank you. Thank you, Oxy. That's amazing. Again, a whole bunch of one-monthers. And then Rahaki sneaking in with a 10. I see you. I see you. Thank you so much. That's wonderful. Wow. Good afternoon to you. But if I gave her the synergist role, what does she get? Ben K for office rat. Vigilance. Strength. Veil. Bart. Where's protect? He can't be the only one who gets protect. Surely. Bar thunder and everything else. What? And then she gets Protectra, but it's like level a billion. I've got a very small dick, let's take it personally. <laughs> Mike, you are usually wrong. But today, you are especially wrong. And it will be proved. Rissiel, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Thank you. Uh, yeah, weird. Thank you so much, Rasil. Thank you. She gets magic strength. Veil. She gets the same tree, right? It's this. Oh, Bravara? <laughs> that we got Shalra. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so one of them gets Protectra, another one gets Shalra. You're wrong, proven wrong. Chunky Nick. You got a sub goal up or something. I 
73 um, months of shits and giggles. Man's got a new kitchen stove and since the pizza takeaway is still hella expensive, I got to make my own to celebrate it. Massey, you're such a clown when it comes to pizza. <laughs> and it shouldn't be difficult, dude. It shouldn't be difficult. It really shouldn't. This shouldn't be a difficult process, is eating pizza. But you make it into like the most complicated process that any human being has to go through. And I want to remind everybody, and I don't care what you think, pizza's just not that good. That like you should be de dedicating like parts of your house to pizza. Pizza is fine. It's all good, but dedicating your like areas of your home to pizza, remodeling your kitchen for pizza, that's too much. That's too much. Pizza's great. Like everyone enjoys a, a pizza. But you're not, you're not dedicating your house to it. And, and like installing a pizza oven. How often are you eating pizza where you need a special pizza oven in your kitchen? And I don't mean that you're some fucking millionaire with some cunt house on top of a mountain that has like four pizza ovens. And I have one next to the pool and one at the pool house and all that. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about a normal kitchen. Yeah, to be honest, Mike, it's one of the biggest frustrations I have in having a pizza. You can't make pizza dough. You've got space to make pizza, though. Oh, really? your, your sides are the same as mine. That's and I've made pizza, That's though. A real nice office you've got there, How many right? fucking sides it do you need to make a pizza? I've got two sides. How many sides do you need for a pizza, though? You need, like, wide enough of an open counter space. Jesus please. Christ. You're not Gordon fucking Ramsay. You're making a pizza for one person. You've got plenty of room. Right, but you want, you want some rooms to need. You need to... Room to need. You need a mouse mat's amount of room to need. And you have that. Pizza cooking competition next week. I am actually down for that. A pizza off? I bet. Oh, a pizza off. What would we even do it? We could do it in the office with a fucking uh, induction thing, I think. Well, you, need a, you need a pretty hot oven. Don't need a hot oven for pizza. You're not trying to make it to fucking Italian standards. Do you have a pizza stone? No. Good. Yeah, I was about to call you a fucking wanker. But if I if I had enough kitchen space to make dough, I would buy a pizza. You would buy a pizza stone? Yeah. What a twat. Because the pizza is always going to be better. <sighs> Buying a fucking pizza stone. Jesus Christ. Well, I probably wouldn't get like a stone, but you could get like a metal thing. Well. I have a Mickey Mouse it's shaped cutting have... board, is my yeah, answer to you, sir. <laughs> you, you use a Mickey Mouse cutting board as a <laughs> sharpener. I even sent you a knife sharpener. I have used your knife sharpener. I had, I had no difference. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not that arsed. If I'm cooking at home, good enough will do. If I'm cooking at home, good enough is fine. Like, I, I'm all good. I'm all good. I don't hate pizza. That's not true. I don't hate pizza. But I'm not getting a fucking special stone and heating that up first and all that. That's not happening. I'm not. I can't be fucking bothered. Oven cuts is fine. Oh my god, I need colour on the What, Am I not going to eat it if it hasn't got a particular colour on the base? Am I going to? Am I going to like throw it in the bin? It's not got the right shade of brown or crispiness. You don't want a soggy bottom, right? You want when you take the pizza slice and you hold it up, it should not flop. Right? It should hold. Oh, strong. Jesus Christ, there's fucking connoisseurs of bread and cheese. <laughs> it's fucking pizza. It's bread, sauce, and cheese with any shit on it you want. Fucking, oh, it's got a slightly soggy bottom. It's inedible. It's inedible. It has a bend. It has a bend. Don't worry, he is. Don't forget, chat. He is wrong. Why do you keep saying I'm fucking wrong? There's no sub goal up, and they're all in on it. What is it? You are wrong. Right, do we have money? We have. We've got credit chips. Uh, sort by category. Right, credit chips. All right, we've got some money again. Not a lot of it, though. 
What are we upgrading here? Defensive stuff, right? Realistically. Uh... We, got 60. we haven't really got a lot of money. I was so mad at a drama story today. I've sent in my own route to refute and I'm right. Okay. This thing's old. We need a guide for accessories. We probably do, because we overcooked the last one pretty hardcore. Hold on. Uh, did, our, did our boy here give us a link to uh, the accessory guide? Because he fucking loves it. Agent Noun fucking loves it. So, huge guide. Look, he labeled the forum post. Huge guide. All right. FF13 accessory upgrade guide. All right, here we go. Oh, my God. There's an accessory upgrade calculator. Holy shit. Holy shit. There is an accessory upgrade calculator. Of course there is. No, we're, we're actually not going to game facts, guys. We are off to PlayStation trophies. All right. Uh, save you some gills and, of course, precious components. So easily spent. Uh, how to read this guide. <laughs> From left to right. Awesome. Uh... Accessory. Experience needed to fully upgrade to star. Stone needed to create a stronger version. And once the star has reached, and finally new equipment created after. Okay, so this is kind of spoilers. Example. Diamond Bangle takes 145,000 XP to cap and an adamantite to transform it into adamant bangle, which is already 23 after being made. Keep in mind that I didn't calculate the exact amount of XP. For it. It's very close. Okay. Uh, so this just tells you how much XP it needs. Oh, man, we're missing a lot of wristbands. There's knuckles and shit to come. We've only got power wristbands, I think. Uh, are you building an Ikea table or what? I don't know, man. Uh, Mark's magic boost. And we've only got... Sh so, are we only early in the game yet? Maybe. Uh, either way, it doesn't take much to... Ma oh, because that's the upgrade. So, Shaman's Mark turns into Sorcerer's Mark, which then needs a weirding glyph, to, uh, a Scarletite to go to a weirding glyph. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, well, this is cool, actually. Let's start by making our... Um, uh, cool, come to think of it. Words into things. The uh, is 72 hour pizza dough. Don't come at me, Mike. <laughs> you stay in your plebeian corner with your Mickey Mouse pizza stone. Lol, lol, just I do not mate. own. I do but not I own a pizza to be stone. The judge of the pizza bake off competition. Oh, we've unlocked more stuff, but uh, it said we only kind of need. Uh, what was it? Oozes are good. All right, let's stack our ooze game. I think you use the same item because the the XP multiplier is the same. That's too many. Let's go to seventy two. And then we need to go to the garage, and we want, what the crankshafts? These are really expensive. Okay, so, let's read the guide and do this correctly. Uh, upgrade. Let's upgrade. Uh, Magician's Mark is already level 3. Hmm. Let's use some of the rando shit to clean up the inventory. Right, that's one and a half K. And a segment of carapace. 1.75. And say how many of these we got? Six of these. Alright, we got double. Uh and we're already part of the way through this. Hold on. This is annoying. Okay. So, uh, we need a total of 4,700 to get it to the Shaman's Mark. But we're already level 3, which is 944. Four. 
So we should guess we've probably invested... If we were to guess, to go into level 3, we'd probably already give it... 1,200, maybe? So 3.5k should do it. These are so expensive, though. I kind of think you boost it to 3x before you spend any of these. Because these are so much more expensive than oozes. Right? So it's probably another 10 or 15 of these to go to 3x. Oh, it's gone up to level 4. Motherfucker. Level 5? No. Anime hater. Pizza hater. Yuffie hater. Truly a man of the lowest culture. Poor. That should be enough. Okay, now it's Magician's Mark. And then you use a Cobalite. To turn it into the Shaman's Mark. Okay. <clears throat> Great. That's a start. Now, let's... Let's say... I don't fucking hate pizza. Pizza is... Shut up. Pizza is fine. Right, so you can take the new Shaman's Mark instead of that, but we want to keep you with the Aurora Scarf. I'm fine with that. Whatever. Whatever. I know what I mean. Okay, remove that one. Right, she needs something defensive. Uh... Resist elements is probably a good start, right? What do we think? 10% resist elements. I'm starting to think Swedish pizza must actually be amazing. Since you hate all the things that are good. I don't hate pizza. I enjoy a pizza. I'm just saying... All I said was, when I'm making a home pizza, I'm not going to go out of the way... To buy a bunch of like accessories like a little mobile pizza oven or a gas powered one for the fucking garden and a big stone because I just don't care that much. I'll put it on a tray and cook it on the tray in the oven and it's fine. It's more than acceptable. Upgrading the black belts can't be a bad idea, right? Alright, let's change this to Shaman's Mark. Yes, not having all that shit means you make no effort at all. That's what it is. Right, let's upgrade her black belt. That's what I'm saying. I make no up effort whatsoever. Literally nothing. Right, black belts require 7,500 XP. And it goes from 12% to 20. 20% is a lot of physical damage reduction, to be fair. And then we could upgrade it past that to the General's Belt. Well, I think we want to save that for weapons more than anything else. Let's see if that helps us a little bit. Mike, can you get the Heinz baked pizza and give us a review? I would never review. Firstly, I would never review food because you guys would be so angry. Uh, and now second of all, if I was mind. ever, ever Learned to review by all food. The objective lies you spread about food. It would never be fucking frozen oven pizza. Because gross, right? 
Uh, how much does a... What is this? A power band? Where's that? Oh, it doesn't require a lot for doesn't the power Doesn't min-max pizza making. Doesn't min-max CPR. And you call yourself a gamer. Clown. <laughs> sure. Okay, plus 60 strength, and we can't go past that. Right, so let's give Lightning a further defensive roll. Uh, maybe a Black Belt as well. No, let's do the um, Elements thing. Oh, we're out of uh, thingies. Can we get 36 more thingies? I mean, even if uh, we don't end up using this team, these items aren't going to go to waste, I don't think. Bastard. All right, we need to wait for a bit more money. Uh, <clears throat> is there a reason to do it ever 13? We need to. I'm always going to jump into a system and invest if it's, like, actually worthwhile. All right, let's trade that for the... Uh... Right now, we're just taking too much damage, like, to get our team rocking and rolling. So let's see if we can balance that a little bit. I maybe went a little bit overboard with DPS soap, which is odd, but, I mean, it happens on occasion. Is that slug staring at me? It is. Fuck. I didn't get what I was after. I think we still blast though, right? Back me up. What is nutrient? Are they just fucking health draining us? Uh oh. Okay, Blitz is the play. Don't give up. Stay down. Target's a target. Okay, thankfully they do not have much Time HP. That's fine. Approach. Mike, did you know that pizza it. isn't supposed to be frozen be when you eat it? You put it in an oven. That raises its temperature to around 200 degrees. Then you eat the pizza, and it is yummy. Clown. <laughs> you fucking dickhead. Where's the enemies that are here? Oh, they're so cute! Oh my god! Oh, those are wonderful little things! Oh, look at you! Are they healing each other? They totally are. Oh, they do poison. Ah. Uh, she has a sooner now, right? Are you the worst possible healer? No, she has got a sooner. Okay, thank God. Oh, did it wear off? Wisdom does come with it. I haven't had a preemptive strike in forever, and it's making me sad. There's also no loot around. Ah. This easy pizza dough recipe is great for beginners and produces a soft homemade pizza crust. <laughs> Skip the pizza delivery because you only need six basic ingredients to begin. That's a preemptive, right? Okay, good. Let's go. <laughs> I could make pizza, okay? You have done this to yourself. I haven't! Pizza is this. 
I just don't like going out of my way for something as simple as pizza. Especially something that is literally as cheap here to get delivered as it is to buy all the fucking ingredients to make one. It's like making you know your own KFC. It's just like a complete waste meat of time. Pies, a meal of soggy meat and pastry that only the UK could love. No copium whatsoever slash S. It's absolutely true. Unless you are going to be making pizza like daily or some shit, then yeah. If when you feel like a pizza, it's way cheaper to get one made and delivered than it is to buy a bunch of fucking ingredients. Unless you're making a poor people pizza like cheese pizza. Let's say I get a meat feast pizza from the local. If I'm going to get a pizza, it's probably going to be a meat feast. That shit's got pepperoni on it. It's got beef on it. It's got fucking ham on it. It's got all sorts of shit. It's got Every mushrooms, cheese, sauce, all this crust. stuff. Some like it thin and crispy, while others prefer a thick and soft crust. This homemade pizza crust has it all, soft and chewy with a delicious crisp and awesome flavor. It's my go-to pizza dough recipe. Anybody having thick crust pizza is literally a terrorist. Thin and crispy all the way. The dough should be the least prominent feature of pizza. Oh, that can't be controversial. It's fucking bread. It's bread. Literal bread. Jesus Christ. Horrid take you filthy animal. I don't want to talk about it. Everyone's like just fucking plain ass bread pizza and defending it. Americans eat pizza as a breakfast meal. This is why we the crust the is the worst part of any pizza. It's just bread. You're getting pizza That's for the toppings done. and flavors, not the bread. So, what? Are you yeah, but it shouldn't be the prominent part. The prominent part should be the interesting flavors and peppers and things huh? you put on top. Yes. Man, why do you hate your viewers so oh, I'm not arguing about bread. It's fucking bread. No one cares. He never had good dough chat. Obviously, it's made with pizza dough, but it's still bread. Well, eat some bad pizza. It doesn't matter. Does, it, yeah, it matters. Like, if you're getting thick bread instead of just nice ingredients on top of it, that's on you. No one orders fucking thick crust pizza. You do not order thick crust pizza. A standard pizza, sure. Fine. Thin and crispy is preferable. But. What do you mean? It's not! <laughs> So chat likes pizza it's about so the ratio. With fat and thick as fuck I hate this so much. The way and Italians agree. The amount of sauce and topping. Now you hate bread too. Jesus Have you fuck! You guys care so much about a world. shit food like pizza. Humanity will not stand for this disrespect. So if bread you want hater. That's why the New York pizza works, because okay, the ratio just have a plain white loaf with your next I've got TTS. After I've got you. I've got the game. Place, right? It's all about... <laughs> it's amount. pizza! It's fucking dough, tomato, cheese, and shit on top. It's a basic takeaway stoner food. No, because it's so... It's not simple, artistry. Well, it can be. That's the thing. But it can be. Because it's so simple, the ceiling of what you can do with it is so much higher. The ceiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every little thing matters more. Pizza That's is sad. temporary. Office rat is forever. You know what to do. Huh. I don't care. Eat your pizza how you want. I'm not asked. Do what you want. I'll order my thin crust, crispy of course he has meat pizza, pizza and I'll be happy. Very good straight out of the microwave. I just don't care. Blue, 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 blue. 
It's fucking pizza. It's one of those basic foods that are going. They was just trying to do their job while this guy rants endlessly about pizza. Clown. <laughs> I feel like the, it's it's like the steak but situation. Oh, I, I like I like pizza. steak with a bit of sauce on it, and for some reason that means you definitely try to commit jihad on somebody, right? Because you may be like a little bit of a, a peppercorn sauce pizza or whatever with steak. Delivered in space in 2001, the Russian space agency was paid more than a million bucks to deliver a six-inch pizza to the International Space Station. Russian cosmonaut. Let's just Yuri never Yudikov talk about food again. Being the first okay. person to receive a pizza delivery while in orbit. Seems good. Let's never talk On about food again. Day, Dwayne the Rock Johnson eats double dough pizza. Are you telling me you disagree with the Rock? Yes. Jabroni. <laughs> Jabroni. <laughs> Mike opened the pizza box from the place called Pandora's Pizza. I just don't take pizza that seriously. It's pizza. Thank you for subscribing to Pizza Facts. Would you order pizza at a restaurant? Like an Italian. You visit, I take you to an Italian chef comes with all these things. Are you ordering a pizza? Using yes! Ingredients like caviar, Salento Mountain Oregano, lobster, mozzarella cheese, and pink Australian sea salt harvested from the <laughs> A study showed thick crust enjoyer are all potential serial killers. <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! Pizza Fact 11. The biggest pizza in recorded history was prepared by Dovalio Nardi, Andrea Manoghi, Marco Nardi, Matteo Nardi and Matteo Giannet in Rome, Italy, on the 13th of December 2012. It had a total surface area of 13,580.28 FT squared. Guinness was on hand to document the massive buy. Oh, that's the wrong one. We want, uh, what's it called? Bully. Bully. Thank you, Wubbertuba. Going to a really nice Italian restaurant for pepperoni pizza. A really nice Italian restaurant. Bread, tomato, and cheese with a bit of ham on it. <laughs> Proper Italian Are you silenced again? Why are you not healing me? Oh, she slept! Oh, this is a disaster. I need to start paying attention to debuffs. It's now become a thing. Yeah. No. Your Italian pizza. Of, uh, well, I'll, I'll be in Rome at some point this year, so I will try Italian pizza. Pizza okay. fact 62. While traditional toppings like cheese, pepperoni, and mushrooms are popular, people worldwide get creative with their pizza toppings. Some unconventional toppings include pineapple, barbecue chicken, shrimp, and even chocolate. Nothing I can't handle. Chocolate pizza. You would not order pizza from an Italian restaurant. Thanks. Because the Italians actually suck at pizza. We have evolved beyond them. The Italians suck at pizza. All right. As a native Italian, I find yeah. the idea of thin and crispy pizza incredible. Let's go to pizza. real pizza, Just like kidding. Pizza Hut. Me I mean, they have a whole business dedicated to it. They can't be wrong. <laughs> Your party's not doing too well. You might want to feed them some pizza to make them nice and strong. <sighs> Italian pizza shouldn't be called pizza. Okay. I will look forward to making my own opinion. Yeah, I like pineapple on pizza. It's not something I like actively choose, but I don't mind it. This place is a weird layout. <gasps> It's nice. Do you see a bit of sweetness? Nothing wrong with it. What do you mean all the wrong opinion? Yeah, it's nice. It's not something I go out of my way in order. But it's fine. Ha! 
Incorrect opinions. <laughs> Bad take central. Leave food alone. What, you don't like my opinions on food because I consider average foods to be average. Have what you want. I don't care. It's not changing anything. Lots of good food. I could have a really nice pizza and be plenty happy. Like, I'll have a pizza and be like, oh, that's good pizza. I know the difference between bad and good pizza. It's fine. But pizza is, you know, not special. You don't know. Your opinions, we're just mad that they're wrong. <laughs> Should see you, Daddy, now. What's nice? Uh, our... Last night, Emma made me a really nice home cooked chicken fried rice full of vegetable, fresh chicken, and really well done rice. And I would have that any day of the week over pizza. It was awesome. That's what I had for dinner yesterday. It was super good. It tasted awesome. Alright, I consider that super good. It was all good. Uh, it was not one day old rice, but you really couldn't tell. Again, that, that falls into like pizza stone territory for me. I'm not fucking making day old rice to plan for fucking fried rice tomorrow. That's not happening. No. No. That's, that's ridiculous. Uh, that, it's too much. Like, we've got fucking four mouths to feed every single fucking day. I'm not making fucking rice the day before to have slightly different tasting fried rice. Respect, but you have ruined that. Now I cannot trust that you like the things that are good. <laughs> he doesn't like the things that are good. Is your bias against peach sustained because you prefer it from Greg's? Let's get this over with. <laughs> I would never eat a Greg's pizza. <laughs> I imagine it's actually fine. I'm just not doing it. <laughs> it's all kinds of wrong. Yeah, it'll be more like a tomato. I imagine if I was to get a Greg's pizza, it tastes very much like a tomato cheese sandwich. Oh, cheese and tomato sandwich. I imagine that's kind of it. Don't die. All right, she's got raised now, though. Oh, she slept again. Okay, I, I hate that they have different symbols. So haste is one thing, but sleep is the same symbol, but down instead of it being slow. There we go. No, no sub goals for me to eat things. Thank you. No, no, thank you. Especially things you know I won't like. That's that's just being really mean. Let's let's make Mike eat horrible things. Mm. What a joyous and fun occasion this is. The only real pizzas are the ones you get for a dollar in Manhattan and eat standing on the sidewalk. I want to try one of them because I've seen people rave and rave about Manhattan dollar pizza. Like it changed their lives. It's a Manhattan dollar pizza, or two dollar pizza, or whatever. I would be interested in trying that. Uh, we made any more money? We really need I'm some not money. not sure if you are evil no. or insane. But either way, you need the rubber room. The rubber room with rats. Chicago pizza? That's the one that's like a cake of tomato sauce, right? I mean, I find tomato sauce to be the lamest part of pizza. I seem to recall you eating a mouthful of orphish jelly beans, so why can't chat have you eat other stuff? When you I ate a mouthful of awful jelly beans, we raised $60,000 for charity, okay? Yes, I have a I'm flexible right. moral compass. Here. I could say I am sorry for the pizza rage in chat, but that would be a small lie, as it has left me giggling for the last hour now. Thanks for being mm, a good I have to mute you though. Thank you, Massey. Oh, no, you're muted. What's You're muted. To? Stop. You're muted. Are they planning to start a war? 
That's enough of the pizza. We're cutting it off there. The Hibernatorium. Well, that one's got a red mark over it, so I think we have to fight that one. <laughs> Would I be correct, game? Can I preemptive these? So no sub goal for you to have a beef Wellington. Noted. I made beef Wellington on stream. I did it. Already done, pal. Let's do a full combo here. And then we'll scan it. Oh my god, this thing's got health. What the fuck? Uh, this. I'm changing them now. What is this thing? A berserker. 142,000 health. Resistance to fire. Weak to lots of schools of magic. Halved physical damage. But have you had beat Wellington pizza? It is the natural evolution of Beef Wellington, and has replaced it in all civilized lands. Civilized lands? In all the civilized lands, sure. Uh, I'm pushing here because we've got max debuffs on it, so I'm just going to fucking kill it. Okay, not bad. Discerned the full attributes of a hundred enemies. I'm a law master! Yay! I need a new paradigm. Beef Wellington pie. You know what I've really got into recently? Lamb pinwheels. Oh, they're so good. They're like a lamb sausage roll. Emma got them about four months ago. I haven't had one since, but they're fucking awesome. They're so good. Only a special. The only place we know that gets them is like a special butcher's, which is really far away. Change of plan. You're not wrong, but I've actually got the goods. Be proud to this Ponzi sausage roll. That's that's all kinds of wrong. Ponzi sausage roll. No, sir. Lamb could be too lammy. That's a take. That's definitely a take. Lamb is too lammy. Although I do know what you mean by sometimes fish is too fishy, depending on... There's like a fishy aftertaste, which is never nice. Lamb is my favorite meat. And if you're disagreeing with that, you just hate flavor. Anybody who says chicken's their favorite meat, I don't know. I judge you, I judge you low. Because <laughs> it's flavorless. That's the whole point. It doesn't taste of anything. You need to add a bunch of shit to it to get something out of it. Lamb is fucking terrible? You're outrageous. I, bet hope I have chicken too. nearly you every like every day of the week, probably. I, I have chicken nearly 365 days a year, right? But I'm not going to pretend it's like a flavor sensation, because <laughs> it's really not. Lamb is ew, you fucking tasteless, tasteless creatures, you. Leg of lamb? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. A rack of lamb? Mmm. Mm -mm. I've never had reindeer. I've never had reindeer. Great, now I want a hero. <laughs> Fuck's sake. 
Mm. Mm -mm. Yum yum. Oh, it's the penguins! Yay! We love killing penguins. Uh, I believe, and I'm really not exaggerating here, like in some sort of streamer sense. Uh, I'll say this, I'm really not trolling. I've either never had a calzone, or I had one so long ago as probably a teenager a that I don't remember it. The, and I, I, let me explain that, because that might seem weird to some people, right? That might seem weird. But the only places here where you would get calzone, really, are in a restaurant. And if I'm at a restaurant, I'm probably not ordering something like pizza or pizza-like. So that's that's the only reason why. I have no issue with calzone, but I honestly have no opinion on them. I was a stoner, but we don't get like if I was a, when I was stoned and we get delivery food. You're in the UK. You're getting kebabs. You're not getting. You might get pizza. I don't even think our delivery places really do. Can you get a delivery calzone? Probably not when I was a stoner. This was a long time ago. I don't even think you could have done that. It would depend on the area, but I know here your choices, at least when I used to get takeaway food, when I was, you know, working nightclubs and doing all that kind of stuff. Uh, your takeaway food is burgers, chips, kebabs, pizzas. And maybe something slightly unusual, but rarely. No, 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 no. I have not, I have not uh, taken anything in many, many years. Many, many years. But I'm not going to pretend I didn't. In my nightclub working days, it was definitely a very regular thing. But that was a long, long time ago. The last time I tried to smoke weed, I definitely felt like I was going in a bad direction. So I haven't done it since. Everywhere you look. And that was probably 20 years ago now, I think. Yeah, around then. Down. Why did I stop? Uh, I got too busy. Simple as that. I didn't have time to sit around and kind of be uh, nonplussed for a few hours at a time. Just couldn't do it. Just see your daddy now. Yeah, it's just had too much shit going on at that point. It no longer fit into my lifestyle. That's probably a simpler way of saying it. Nothing I can't handle. I agree. Kill him. Huh? Oh, we should. Let's put this into those. Uh, Became a knock. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. I am absolutely not straight edged by any means. Any means. Call it me straight edge, you've never been to Preach Gun. <laughs> and you've certainly never been to BlizzCon. <laughs> Very relentless. Mm, are we gonna die here? Why risk it? Why risk it? Did we get drunk at FanFest? I think I was more drunk the first night, wasn't I? When we went to that cocktail bar and Raven and Arms were fucking bullying me. Yeah, the first night, I think so. Yeah, the first night was a bit heavy. You were hammered. <laughs> I'm allowed. Yeah, I think it was the first night, but I'd also, like, streamed all day and then got that ridiculous train station and then moved straight into the fucking shots. Like, my first drink that night was a shot. Ooh, behemoth. I heard you walking. You gotta turn around.
No, I was way more drunk the last night of FanFest. When we, af after the Primals concert. Emma, that's when Emma was pissed off at me. Yeah, Emma was pissed off at me on the last night. Not the first night, the last night after the Primals concert. That, I was shit-faced then. I was fucking wrecked. Yeah, that was bad, that one. Yeah, yeah that wasn't good. On your toes. <laughs> that wasn't good at all. Uh, I was fucking turbo-fucked. It was a really good night. <laughs> it was a really, really good night. It was a very, very good night overall. <clears throat> I don't know why I said to you, Sunshine, but uh, I assume it was uh, polite. That's how it's done. I know I made friends with the Domino's man because I was outside talking to a bunch of people. And that poor Domino's guy was just driving backwards and forwards from the restaurant to this bar because somebody had figured out you could get Domino's delivered to the bar. And then everybody saw it arrive and then he had to start going to McDonald's. And that guy must have made like 30 trips backwards and forwards. And he was so confused until I explained what was going on. And by the end of it, I was like mates with him. He was like, oh, back again. And he's got more pizza. And then he started bringing like people were ordering nuggets in the hundreds. It was like, I have, I think at some point he said to me, it's like, I have 100 chicken nuggets. It's like, what is going on? Uh, I obviously explained. <laughs> no hesitation. I explained. <laughs> Best day for delivery, man. Uh, the worst, does anybody, who came to our... Just another battle. Wait, we had multiple pies at FanFest because we had the private party as well. And that delivery guy was pissed off. Do you remember that one? When we had the private party in that place and that delivery guy was fucking raging because he delivered something like 75 pizzas. And he was well pissed off because he was just going backwards and forwards. But because... The oh, that was right. Because the deliveries kept going to the bar so he wasn't getting oh, tips. And he was fucking fuming. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that guy he was raging by the end. He was like, fuck it, fuck this, whatever's going on. Well, I didn't know what was going on, but it turned out somebody. Uh oh, this is really bad. Uh, oh, hold on, let me focus a sec. Oh, we're gonna die. No, it wasn't even the fault of the people getting pizza. What happened is that the bar that we had the party in said they served food. There was like a menu. Shit, we're gonna die. Yeah. Um, said they served food and some people were hungry. So they started ordering food and it was just a pizza menu. And it turned out that they didn't actually make the food. What they had was a deal with the local pizza place to just deliver pizza if someone in the bar wanted food. And so people started doing that. And then more people noticed, and more people noticed, and as the night went on and more people got drunk and then started wanting some food, it descended into pizza chaos. Let's go. But the guy who owned the place, the pizza place, was having the best time of his life. He sold more pizzas that night than he'd done in a year. But the guy who was walking, and he was only walking like, I don't know, 50 feet or something, was the guy dropping the shit off. He was really pissed off because what was happening is he was he had just had to deliver it to the bar. Nobody knew whose pizza was arriving. Uh, and so he... Um, <laughs> and so he was just like... Have more pizzas and then the bar was distributing them. Uh, we need buffs here. Uh, I don't know how much we can get away with. This is actually a really hard fight. Hold on. Let's summon an idol on. Uh... Summon. Oh, I've only got Odin. Yeah, I can't. Oh, I'd have to make him the primary leader, wouldn't I? I, yeah, it was. It, the, I don't think the bar was. Um, I know I said, let's give him a big tip at the end to make it right. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know, man. 
I said like when he's like when it was getting late and he was still delivering pizzas. I was like, let's let's leave him a tip uh, and sort that out. Uh, I gave Emma that, that task because it was pretty clear. You could tell by his face this guy was not happy. All right, we go to start mode in a second. No, tips aren't common, but he's... Uh, I get where he's coming from. He's not technically earning more, but he's doing significantly more money, right? It's, if he's on an hourly rage, he's absolutely not earning any more for manually walking that shit over. We do this together. So he worked like five times as hard and got the same amount of money, which... You know, it's fair to want a tip for that. If you don't have cash to tip, is it okay to order food? In the UK, yeah. Yeah, delivery people don't expect tips over here. I wonder if a combo of abilities is better here. So we've got, like, lightning strike. Yeah, tipping culture is a America thing. All right, so our goal is Zanatsuka leveling up. See, it says Zanatsuka level 2. The more attacks do we do, does it level up to like level 3 and stuff? Well, I know um, when Emma got a delivery not too long back, um, the guy said you shouldn't tip us on here uh, because apparently you, she got something from Uber Eats and they were, I think, asking for tips via the app before the guy delivered it. Oh, this guy's like full enraged. Hold on. Are we dead? Not quite. Um, and he said that we're only getting a portion of those tips or something. I don't know whether that's changed or not. So like Uber, Uber Eats was uh, saying, oh, um... <clears throat> We should heal. Oh, we killed it. Never mind. <clears throat> yeah, I think something like that was going on. It's like they were saying, here's your food. Do you want to tip your driver in advance? Which is really sus because you, you haven't even, like... I mean, that feels wrong in the first place, right? That's, like... I don't even know if this food's going to arrive on time. If it's going to be okay. Whatever. Uh, and then the guy was like, I, I don't even get the fucking thing. I guess we're going down? Where are we going here? We need to go this way. Uh, yeah, like, why would I tip the app people? Like, what the fuck is that? Down these ladders, there we go. Now that's... that's... I, you're already taking commission off every single order because it's your app, like Steam does. It's like tipping Steam. For what? Why would I give you a tip? Do you tip cashiers? No. Why would you tip a cashier? Is the cashier offering some sort of tips in the UK or for some sort of extra special we can service? Win if you stay focused. You ask for it. Huh. Yeah, if you're tipping in the UK, it's because somebody gave you an extra, like, maybe helped you out with some situation or, you know, went out of their way to make sure everything was fine. Or tip the chef if you had a really, really nice meal. That's, that's all good, too. Thank you. Can we get D shell on before we go ham, please? We're kill Our damage is so high with Braver and D protect that we just kill it anyway. New strategy. Yeah, it's dying long before we get to Skaga. Yeah, exactly. Me and Emma both worked the bar for many years. We made more than double our salaries uh, via tips. That was uh, that was the nature of the beast. But also, some people never got tipped because they were assholes. 
And then they'd think that we were the problem somehow. Like, me and Emma were cheating. What do you think of Buffs and Debuffs ever 13? Um... I kind of get why they've decided that the AoE version, which significantly saves cast time, uh, is... Um, to make you divide the party up a bit. Because, obviously, we've got Saz who can do it individually, but it takes a long time. You've got to manage that. I quite like it. I quite like it. I'm not sure about the debuff icons yet. I'll get used to them, I'm sure. Uh, what do you think about streamers getting tips? Uh, that totally makes sense to me. Well, I mean, that might be biased, obviously, but obviously subscriptions are similar to any streaming model. Like Netflix and things like that. Like, I, I see Twitch subscriptions, personally, as a really reasonable thing. Especially if the stream is regular. You get, like, 40 hours of content that you can watch all day or whatever for, what, $5 a month? Cheaper in some countries, so uh, that makes sense to me. Uh, as for tips and things like that, yeah, if you're having a really good time, how is it any different? I don't see it as any different. If you had a really great day, it's like, cool, it's, it's a tip, I think it's fine, so. I had this out with my accountant, because uh, he was, like, trying to understand it, and he's like, well, it's no different than going to a really good show. I don't see why it needs to be treated differently. But I don't know, like, I think I would tip a cashier if they, like, what would I tip a cashier for? I don't know, in UK, cashiers just sit in the chair and swipe the thing, and they don't do anything else. But if, like, uh, if they saw I was struggling, like, if my kids were still young, and they saw I was struggling or something, and they were like, uh, let me help you, and so, yeah, I would tip them for that, for sure, because they don't need to do that. For any reason, they don't need to do that. No, I haven't seen this, but I've heard about it, is that self-checkouts are asking for tips at the till. Like, at the checkout thing. I don't know what the fuck that is. Other than greed. Well, I do know what the fuck that is. That's greed. But, uh, yeah, I have heard that's a US thing in some places. Is the, uh, electronic checkouts that self-checkouts are asking for things. But at the same time, self-checkouts are going away, apparently. Because it turns out they're just way less efficient. <laughs> <laughs> I think they we're getting to keep uh, or getting, but I think they're going to keep the hand basket ones, but the ones that are for trolleys and shit are going away. They're just way less efficient and you still have to hire like multiple people to monitor the situation. I mean, let's be honest, when else do you get to tip someone, but really it is so you can do this. Mm -hmm. Hi Mike, it's the rat. Get fucked, clown. <laughs> There you go. There you go. There you go. People are stealing. Well, I had an incident at Morrison's the other week. I don't know if Chris has dealt with this. But Mike, uh, I was picking up some sugar-free Red Bulls for the fridge, the right? For Which in the UK requires a guy to come over and say you're authorized. This is one of the reasons they're getting rid of them, right? They need a person on hand to double-check you can buy Red Bull. Because uh, kids can't buy it. So, the guy came over... And he, like, authorized it. But he saw that I had no more shopping to put through because I was getting, like, my sandwich, bread, and some chicken or whatever. Um, and he put through no bags on his own and took it all the way to the payment thing while I had a bag in my hand. And you have to pay for bags over here. So I'm like, am I stealing? <laughs> I'm not sure. Am I stealing here? Like... What am I supposed to do? So obviously I didn't pay for the bag, so I guess technically I'm a thief. A yeah, he didn't care. Oh, he's totally like... Nobody ever pays for the bags. Like, I don't know if it's normal that people don't pay for the bags or whatever, but yeah, there it is. Yeah, he didn't care, and like, everybody steals the bags, bro. Like, whatever. Uh, I know he doesn't care, but like, I care. <laughs> I care, I'm like, I don't know. Uh, the staff did it. It was a gift. There you go. Why the streamer very much find out he hates pizza? I don't hate pizza. I will gladly... I don't know what we're eating tonight. It might be pizza. If the kids want pizza, we'll get a pizza. It's usually choice night. Let me just go to the bathroom real quick. There you go. You made me getting through the pandemic Mike, easier. For that, I'll be ever grateful. And so did you, Massey. Because every time I meet you, we have a great grateful. time. And your missus as well. Back in one sec, guys.
What kind of communist hell's cake do you live in that a 10 year old can't go get a Red Bull after a hard day in the mines? Right, it's almost time chat. I've uh, locked up the studio. Everything is ready. So we will be able to prove him wrong very soon. Is this Roshi? Or Sid? I can't tell, they both look the same. It's Roche, isn't it? It's our boy Roche. Rains? No, it's Sid. What? Is Sid a bad guy? No, easy guy. No, Sid. It's all right. Rains is a sanctum officer. He's been helping us out. Uh, why are you here? <laughs> you Rains. betrayed Snow. You traitor! <laughs> Oh, Sid is cooler than lightning! I put you on the path. That was my focus. <laughs> You're a C? Since long before we met. So the time is very variable I on this C business. to assist you, as bid by the Sanctum Falci. Now do you understand? The Falci have watched over you, guiding your every step. The luck that saved you time They really like this destined fate in Final Fantasy, don't they? Why, you may ask? The Primarch, or should I say, Bartandalus, is crafting you into the instruments of Cocoon's demise. Hey, Misery, Being thank you so much. Right. We've been played for fools. A Cocoon foul sea? Why? Why? To restore the Maker. The Maker? The entity responsible for creating both humans and Falci. Okay. Notepads, Long guys. Ago, the Maker departed this world, leaving the two races behind. In a sense, human and Falci are brothers, orphaned by the same parent. Often. As for the humans, they forgot the order imposed by the Maker. They began to war amongst themselves for the first time in history. The Falci focused on recalling their lost deity and returning the world to its former... Oh, world. they're Asians! Okay. This purpose lies at the heart of all their actions. Calling back the Maker requires a fitting sacrifice. Yeah, we've heard. The destruction of Cocoon. 
the lives of this world's entire populace in bloody tribute. Oh, if we sacrifice everybody, That's crazy we might get the maker back. Why do they need us? Couldn't the Fauci and Cocoon with just a thought? Their existence is bound to the creation and maintenance of this floating shell. It is their very nature that holds them in check. You mean Cocoon Fauci can't destroy Cocoon? They needed tools. If we can stop this by doing nothing, we'll do nothing. Yeah! Noble. I expected as much. You lied to us. What happened to your dream of rebuilding Cocoon for the people? Was it all a lie? A shadow of a dream. From when I was human. It was change I craved. And once I'd built the influence to make things happen, there was change. I gained all the power I could hope for, but was a puppet with no will to wield it. It wasn't the foul sea who changed. It was me. <laughs> you... you were made a lassie? A lassie. Tied to an inescapable focus. A slave of destiny. I'd lost hope. I'd all but given up on dreams of freedom. What are you saying? I'm here of my own accord, not by foul sea order. Seeing you fight brought it all back. Brought back that future I once strove for. I too will challenge my fate. Oh God! What? Easy, guys. Steady. If I can defeat you here, the Falsi plan will fail. Rains. I will use all my remaining power. I will set you free. Uh, we just agreed to not do anything, pal. You don't need to do this. Right, I assume he's gonna hurt. Let's put Bully on. Take down the enemy. Why is he just standing there like a Giga Chad? Get more buffs up, pal. Quick heal, quick heal, just a quick heal. Okay, he's cycling through each person individually. That's fine. Go back to Bully. Oh, we've got D Shallop. Uh, very quick heal. Well, he's got guard up, so we could just debuff him during that. Let's go heal on Saz. Let's keep buffing. Come on, Saz, get those buffs up, buddy. He's fully debuffed. Did I die? Just like that. Shit. Ooh, I thought we had a bit more time there, considering his damage. That's fine. Uh, I want another paradigm. I want... <clears throat> uh, diversity stays. We're not going to use Tri Disaster here. I want Commando... Synergist. Medic. So she can heal as well. He continues to buff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Triple cutscene skip. Outrageous. Rain. 
What's the story on this kid? Normal, normal, normal. Okay. Yeah, let's go with Hero's Charge. Just keep up. Jesus, fuck. Just like that. Wow. Okay. Let's start with Hero's Charge. Skip. Yeah, we need to counter his massive damage while we get our buffs out. And then we can start debuffing him for the big kill. Rain. Offensive shift. Thanks. Haste up. It's not going to be too hard to get him into... Ch oh, I think we need to Libra him again. Yeah, this works. Let's get all the buffs out on our team. It's going to take Sars a while. He's nearly there, though. And then we'll start doing the debuffs. Almost there. One more. And then we want... Uh, ruthless. We swap between diversity and ruthless. Land anything? She's trying. Right, this guy's got to get his ass absolutely blasted in Stagger. Oh, phase two. Jesus. Now he's got full buffs. Uh, I need to go like this to dispel him. Does this have dispel? No. Uh, no one has dispel, actually, do they? Have rays? No. I owe you. Mm, losing our stagger bar progress. All right, guard. We should be going into bully. Protect. Thanks. Uh, can she assume of those? Yes. 
Can she use you to de-protect? Push, 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 push. Thank you. Follow my lead. We need to heal shortly. Almost there. Perfect. Push, push, push. No, wrong one. Push, push, push. the end okay during guard we need to be applying a lot more debuffs uh because he takes very little damage keeping his stagger bar up this is a good fight man this is a really fucking good Mikey. fight what okay well uh, we can come back to this in a little bit oh why uh i set something up what with the chat um it's better if i can show you rather than tell you show me yeah it's, it's gonna make more sense uh, in the you gotta show me something. Yeah. So that's why I had it locked off today. It's cool. Like a why I like them are great. Uh, I'm not a big fan of just chocolate, but. Give me something that's got some mix to it, a bit of flavor, and I'm a happy boy. She has to spell as saboteur. Okay, okay, okay. Bounties are so good. I knew it as soon as I had it. Like that coconut with just a light chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. You'd like Oreos who put some fucking raisins in them? Probably, yeah, but I'd like the raisins and not the Oreo. <laughs> Bounties are so good. I'm so happy I had a bounty. I haven't had a bounty in ages. Absolutely awesome. Thank you. Right, I want us. Yeah, in Hero's Charge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we still need to do the Libra, don't we? So when he gets all these buffs, we want, um... We want Vanille in Saboteur to get rid of his buffs as quickly as possible. I wait a long time, even with haste. Let's be safe here while he's curing. Right, let's go ruthless and start working on him. No, he's going offensive now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He's going offensive. Let's play defensive. If he goes offensive, we play defense. is good. Right, now he's just healing, so now we go Relentless Assault. I think when he's, like, spamming healing, we go Relentless Assault. We just gotta watch his face shift. 
Space suit. Uh, Seraphic Ray, we both want to heal. Alright, guard, we bully. Yep, she's dispelling him. Saz can get all his shit back on. This is good. No, in this one we go um, Hero's Curse. Hero's Charge. He's going into guard mode. Bully. All the buffs are on. Let's go um, Relentless. I know he's in guard mode, but we can work up that stagger bar real nice. Seraphic Ray, we do the healing. Follow my lead. Drained all our buffs. Heroes charge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's get our buffs back up. Let's go. Bully. What's he doing? Take down the enemy. Diversity while he's, he's debuffed us. No we might need to convalesce here. We might need to convalesce. Oh, we killed him! Awesome! Good fight. I like responding to his face shifts there. As if we're going to take advice from this egotistical maniac. This is not the time for words of wisdom, you douche. He fulfilled his duty. <clears throat> he brought them together. Did he complete his focus? He did. He tightened them. He made them a more tight-knit group. I don't think so. I do. He did. Just try to save Cocoon in his home way. No, he said his focus was to bring them all together and get them on the right path. Hey, where are you? Snow! I think Rains was searching. Searching for a way to make us understand. To understand the frustration of being a Lassie. A Lassie bound to a focus. And maybe what it meant to be human. I don't know about that. I didn't get that from it at all. Five years of lurking, here's to many more. Oh, Erosco, 60 months. Thank you, Erosco. Let's see what the ATL has to say about what just happened. Hold on. Where are we? Chapter 10. Uh, a great about the Valsi. We meet Sid Reigns, who reveals the horrendous truth of the Falsi's agenda. The divinity, divinity responsible for creating both Falsi and humans, known only as the Maker, departed long ago, leaving the world to fall into ruin. To save it, the Maker must return, but to call back the Maker, millions of lives, no less the entire population of Cocoon, must be sacrificed. Thus, the Sanctum Falsi carefully nurture the people within their floating shell in preparation for this bloody tribute. Yet unable to unmake that which they themselves have made, the Falsi have long sought suitable tools to carry out Cocoon's destruction. 
The pulselessy, in short, <coughs> have been surreptitiously watched and protected so they might gain the strength necessary to complete their terrible focus, which is to butcher all of Cocoon. Reigns, the bearer of this awful truth, reveals himself to be a Lassie under the control of Barty Boy. So far, he has guided Lightning and her friends as his focus required, but now he chooses to exercise his final shred of free will in an act of rebellion against the Foul Sea. If he can kill the Pulse Lassie, then Cocoon will escape destruction. His last wish as a human is to fight for the survival of his world. Even in defeat, he turns to Crystal and gains his eternal reward. <clears throat> Okay. So even as a loser, he wins. Uh, did we get any good loot from that? The Tetradic Crown. <clears throat> Critical Tetra Defense. Cast Protect, Shell, Veil, and Vigilance the first time HP is low. Okay. Hmm. Oh no. What is this heresy? Have they never heard of the story of the Eldar and Slanish? I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, hey, we got a shitload of points from that. We got a ton of points. Out of the candy you tried, which were the biggest surprises both positively and negatively? Uh, bourbon biscuits, I think, were the biggest negative surprise. Uh, wow, we need a lot of points at this point. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> we got barely... Well, we're getting huge gains, though. Strength plus 18. All right. Uh, <clears throat> the big positive, I think, was Jaffa Cakes. Uh, they're nowhere near as bad as I remember. Are we getting anything new from you, pal? Wait, wait, wait. These are all just stat buffs. Another ATB level awaits us. Okay. Uh, no new abilities. What's that over the other side? I still wouldn't choose a Jaff Cape, but I don't hate them. Bar Water, Bar Thunder. These are very expensive. <clears throat> very expensive. D Shalga. Okay, so she can AOE remove debuffs now. That uh, oh, she can debuff it. Oh, that's awesome, actually. That is very nice. Jinx. Extended duration of targets existing star cells upon inflicting new ones. Okay. Hmm. Bro fist. Bro fist to you. What does she got at the top end then? Bro fist, brother. Poison go. Yes. Do one. Okay. Do want. All right, should we do it? <laughs> he's start, he's backed up seventy thousand points. <laughs> we'll spend half of them here, and then the rest is sensible. I, should, I, think, I don't want to particularly use him, but I think it's just annoying people that he's sat there with 70,000 points to spend. There you go. He is the tank. He's the tank of the century. Death Ward. Okay, so you got stronger near dead. Uh, force a single enemy to attack you. Okay. Isn't that just provoke? <clears throat> a 
What's a trench? Counter attack after defending, doing more damage the longer you defend. Okay. Was mocking blood just taunt? Bit funny. Oh, he gets to Spelga? Man. Oh, he might actually be giga strong with counter. If HP is above a certain threshold, retain one health when attack would otherwise kill you. So he also gets uh, prevent death. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, <laughs> ribbity, 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 ribbity. He does. All right, <laughs> let's save. Uh, I assume there's a save point. Did we run past the save point? There it is. All right. <laughs> it's drama time.